did you guys do besides hiring a specter um, bartender and getting a little? Sterlin turned into a cat, so he can do that now. And um, we the head... put ourselves massively into debt. Yes. Um and okay, that. <laughs> Oh, I'm a whore now. And I got what's his name's permission. <laughs> oh, okay. You are so you're okay. So you are <laughs> a prostitute. Oh yeah. Okay, you're a prostitute. So, okay. Hmm. Huh. Prostitute do, 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 do. because prostitutes make more than whores. Mm. Okay, I'm a prostitute. We can use the <laughs> Oh, did we, uh, did we even uh, discuss uh <laughs> that if we're gonna allow it, uh, I mean, Gail, you're the owner. Oh. Gail said it was okay. I asked oh. him. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gail, so, Gail said it was okay. Oh. In the last campaign, like we were typing it, so you might not have seen it, but like while you guys were doing actions, I went up and like I I asked him through the message. I was like, Dayla goes to Gail and asks and presents her idea to be a prostitute, and he said it was fine. Okay. Oh my gosh, my Siri just caught me saying that. <laughs> okay. Uh, who just left? Oh, Gail just left. Gail, we can't hear you. Are you talking? Did we have trouble with this last week too? Uh, I can hear you fine. Hmm? I think Gail uh, was having some issues. Yeah, it says my connection is kind of weak, but I, sh I can hear you guys. Okay, we can hear you now. Yeah. I'm not sure what's wrong with my stream. Uh... So we're going to continue on where we were last and all. We guys... Uh, it's been a... We're going to jump a few days. So... <sighs> Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to... Oh no, wrong app. Oh no, it's Trustle Manor. Put you guys there. So, guys, uh, it's been a couple of days, and uh, the repairs are going well, it's going according, everything goes uh, according to plan, and uh, the workers have not been scared yet of your ghost. Uh, he hasn't uh, done any much, he, uh, he hasn't paid too much attention uh, on the workers, he's been doing his stuff. Can I find um, the person who's leading the or directing everyone and ask them um, how much longer they feel it would take until the taverns? Yeah, you, yeah. If uh, you remember, you were talking to a dwarf uh, about mm. uh, repairing your uh, the tavern, and mm -hmm. the repairs are going well. He's not there for the moment. They are out for lunch. Okay. Uh, but he says it's going to take about uh, 8 to 10 days. 
until oh, it's not bad. Uh, the tavern is completely renovated and uh, some of the residence area. Hmm. Okay. Also, um, have you guys seen uh, the, the, the handout I gave you about the Trolls Gold drink menu? Mm -hmm. So you guys can see, you can uh, edit your own uh, drinks and stuff. Also, Gail, do you want to show the players your deed? Or do you want to keep it to yourself? No, I'll show it. Can everyone see the deed? Uh, no. No. Where is it? Is it just supposed to pop up on our screen? Nope. Uh, wait. <laughs> There's literally a generator for drink names. Why does this exist? There's a generator for everything if you look hard enough. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say there's a generator for like everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you all should have it on your journal. Oh, there go. So that's the deed of ownership, the Trollskull Manor. <laughs> okay. Gasoline. Hmm. I wonder who would drink that. I mean, you guys could maybe give uh, the ghost uh, a quest to create the menu. Since he was a bartender. I've got some ideas for names. Good. Put them in the, the drink menu. Or, yeah. The handout I gave you. <laughs> can I be on the menu? And that way they can just order me. <laughs> like a special order. Yes. A special a special order with benefits. <laughs> People will be like, "What's a Dayala?" I'll come oh, out and be like, yeah. "Me." <laughs> hey. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. That customer is gonna storm in. Are you gonna have like a a, a specific age? Uh, um. I didn't think this through. <laughs> um, uh, like uh, they have to be between certain age. Well, so I so I'm still new to D and D. <laughs> so like, I obviously want all of my like people to be adults, but like I'm not sure what the adult is. Like I know like a like a goblin becomes an adult at like eight or something. I remember that, but like I don't remember all the ages. So like. I, just for the purpose, like I feel like Ayala would know all the ages of adults, but like Athena, I have no idea. So like I definitely want everybody to be an adult, but like as far as a maximum, I don't really care. Uh, if I'm gonna be a prostitute, I'm gonna be a prostitute. Seven hundred years old. <laughs> Let's <Yeah>. go. <laughs> like you're gonna seduce Bring a, all the liches. You're gonna seduce <laughs> a five hundred year old elf. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. It's a side job. I don't have to seduce them. They just order me. And then I, I mean, like, take them to my room and drug them. And then they go to sleep. <laughs> have you thought of a... 
at 500, that'd only be about middle age, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you thought about a, what the fee would be for what? Uh, what your fee would be, uh, what you're going to take and pay? What your oh, pay is going to be? Uh, because um, you can, uh, you, this is something you can think about uh, for uh, next session that you can decide uh, what kind of uh, payment you want for a certain uh, services. <laughs> Do they pay before? Do and they pay before. after? Before. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you have to pay in advance. I just Googled it. <laughs> If you hire a prostitute to play, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. fun. I'm gonna police show up at my door. <laughs> like, why'd you give a prostitute? Oh boy. <laughs> my husband's rolling his eyes at me. Yeah, he's gonna think that. What? So the common, she doing? the common prostitute is two SP an hour. Silver an hour. Yeah, so I'm not going to be common though because I feel like my I would put myself worth higher than that. So I'm going to do four silver an hour, and be an expensive hoe. Yeah. There, the end. Thank you, Google. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's like 40 apples. See, I have 40 apples. It'll be great. Okay, so what are we doing? Great question. Well, I yes. suggest we go find some work because we're going to need some money to pay back that 6,000 gold. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can definitely have all right, so who here is a part of a guild already? Maybe they have a mission. So, oh yeah, yeah we have uh, Natalie. You jo uh, gonna join the Harpers? Yeah. And Gail order the Gauntlet. First, Wayne, you haven't decided yet. If I'll I... see what fits. Yeah, uh, it's. It's not uh, something you need to do. You don't have to join a faction if you don't want to. It's the, it's an optional thing. But I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the harbors. So, um, Casey, why don't you join me in my private chat? Okay. Hello? Hello. Good. Okay, so, you uh, have... Uh, So you have received a paper bird. On it, it says Reyna tells you, tells us you are a good bet. He bought you tickets to the opera tonight at the Light Singer Theater in the Sea Ward. If you're interested, meet Mert at intermission. Private box C. Formal attire is required for admittance. All right. Uh, so, uh, you have the option to bring the whole party uh, to a theater. You don't have to tell them uh, what, uh, why you're there and the reason and how you got the tickets. Uh, you can just say that there is a... 
you got a message about a uh, theater in the Sea War that uh, you have been invited. And uh, you can invite all or just some of the party members. Okay, I'll mm. give them the option of who wants to go with me. Yes, you can do that. Alright. Okay, so we are gonna head back. Go up our horse. Oh. Hello. Um, I guess first time we just continue cleaning until it's time to go. Well, I'm going to tell everyone that I got free tickets to the opera, and I'm going to ask people who who wants to join me. Uh, Dayella is so on board with that. She's <laughs> definitely coming. The opera seems like a high classy thing that she would definitely want to be a part of. I think Darlin would just be like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Looks down, it's covered so in dirt. So just the girls then? <laughs> Do I have time to take a bath and get cleaned up? Yeah, it's yeah. for tonight. Sweet. Definitely. Um, yeah, all the time. Cleaning. All the time you need. Anybody else? Gail Persevane. Gail Persevane. Yay, girls' night! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not sure Persevane like would go to the opera. I don't think he'd be into it. Would Whipperforth come? Uh, Whipperforth might. He can come with me. Which means mm. Persevane probably would. Persevane would take Whipperforth, but he wouldn't go for himself. Yeah, he'd be like doing it grudgingly. Yeah. He's like, gosh, I gotta sit through another opera for you. <laughs> Damn. I? I think it's more. I don't think it's more that. I think it's more just. I'm. This is. It's like. I don't know if this applies, but um, my mum is super into ballet. So she gets excited whenever there's like a production of Swan Lake. <laughs> um, so it'd be like getting dragged to that as a kid. That's great. Oh. <laughs> getting dragged to the like the performing arts by your mum when it's not something particular that you're particularly into. You get to watch the opera version of Kids. Yeah. Do we know what the? <laughs> can I ask? Um, uh, Natalie, what what it is? Do you know what the show is that we're watching? Because like Dale is just like freaking out with excitement right now. The opera is about the fall of Tiamat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we know nothing about Tiamat. I don't care. It's How do you opera. not know about Tiamat? <laughs> well, we know about Tiamat, but it wasn't. Our family wasn't <laughs> raised to learn that kind of stuff. <laughs> No, I, I, think, uh, I think Tiamat is like um, mostly common it's knowledge. Like even if, even, yeah, I was gonna say, if you're in the Forgotten Realms, you know about like, even if you don't worship them, you know about the major gods like Tiamat, Bahamut, uh, Io, like all of those. Mm. And Gaelas just turned into Ryland again. <laughs> 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 We are not raising Tiamat. <laughs> <laughs> like Rylos Bingo is... raising Tiamat. <laughs> this is we not that make campaign. Tiamat, happen. <laughs> Tiamat is, is not going to happen. This is not that campaign. We're in the wrong campaign for that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, definitely a wrong, wrong setting for that. Definitely. Oh, so. God. So, you have a couple of hours until it's time to uh, I'm uh, taking a bath and braiding my hair into beautiful oh, braids. Uh, fancy dress is required. Yeah, yeah you want to go store shopping in a little bit? Like, to the... Come in my room so that you're talking to me while I'm in the room. Yeah. You're, like, Gosh, all the way across God. the house right now. I can just imagine you screaming at the top of your head. I 
mean, to be fair, apparently I was like screaming at everybody like, hey guys, Uh, anybody want to go to the opera? Are you going to do like an ancient uh, communicator? You You put pipes. uh, There's a door there. That would be super I know there's handy. a door there. What the? I'm like getting stopped. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I can't go through that door. What the fuck? You're working uh, your way to me. You've got this. <laughs> I'm getting stopped by the door. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. When doors are immovable. Oh, yeah. The, okay, that door is. has been reset for some reason. Uh, Apparently, you cannot get out of Gail's room. <laughs> You're yeah. just stuck in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, you know what? I opened actually, those. I, I forgot to open those. Welcome to hell. One more. I actually forgot to open those doors. That's <laughs> so. <laughs> Gail was uh, You're completely just closed. Gail, Gail's just locked in there. <laughs> yep. He is co- was completely closed in, the, <laughs> in this whole room. <laughs> Just so because, you just because he wants to write, erase Tiamat, he, we just close him in the room forever. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the campaign. So, like, as you come in, like, I'm in the tub and I'm getting really excited and I'm, like, washing my hair. And I'm going to be like, okay, so so what? what's the dress code? Like, what are we going to wear? Go in, like, uh, full girly on your butt. Not what we're wearing now. Okay, so that means we have I to mean- go shopping. <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to wear clothes because you're naked at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting clothes. there full naked uh, like Bob. Yeah. No shame. I, I are you like have uh, shampoo Okay, in my so hair. so Darlin, are you there while they're t- talking or He's in the room over, so yeah. like he's on the other side of the door. Okay, so no, I'm, I'm in the room. Do, I'm there. Do, I'm, I'm there. gonna do it. Right. I'm in the I'm, bathroom. I'm, oh, okay. I'm just sitting on the other side of the door, just listening. Yeah, he's he's dropping like a butt. Okay, so I'm gonna. Cl- uh, okay, so you guys are closed in right now. You do. The door is closed. Sure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it so wasn't there, before Natalie came in. I will say that, but mm. when she came in, she closed. It. <laughs> mm. Okay. Because well, why would confident. I? Why would I close the door? <laughs> okay, you can leave it open. I, I was confident I don't care. enough to leave it open. <laughs> Well, if I you want, you left it ov- open for a reason. Well, if you want, if you want Thurden to peek inside, yes. Okay. He's my brother. He's not gonna look. He's fine. Yeah, yeah but I, sitting, I wonder. I'm just sitting against the wall. Yeah. So yeah. So you're sitting in, in next to. Uh, you're, you're sitting on a bench here, and uh, while. Well, Dayala is naked and taking a bath, and Dern is on the outside listening in. Okay, so do we know where any dress shops are around town that we can go to? I mean, I assume that I would know where a dress shop was. Yeah, it shouldn't I, be. I so, here, yeah, so. it shouldn't be uh, too hard for you to find uh, clothing, uh, clothing shops that suited to your needs. You know what? I'm that. Do you guys have room for one more? Yeah, I have plenty of tickets. <laughs> you have tickets like for you have <laughs> actually yeah, got like I, <laughs> you have got the uh, tickets uh, for the entire party. Yeah. And also, just to be uh, fair, uh, this is your contact. So I'm gonna scream really loud without warning. That's good. Thanks. Uh, Thank you, sweetheart. See, see, see. Um, and I'm gonna be like, "Gail!" and like <laughs> oh yelling God. as loud as I can. You're the only one not coming. Are you saying you don't wanna come? Uh, <laughs> Natalie, you should have a uh, in your journal. You should have a picture or a sheet. Uh, if you look in your journal, here. Gonna Later. lean into the room and be like, "You sound like our mother." Oh god! <laughs> Sit back down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's not something I could have done, but it was way too R, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Um. <laughs> Can you see it? Are you coming in, Gail? Nope, I'm just gonna send on the cat on my bed over. Door is here. open, huh? I am looking for it. Oh, it's wide open. 
Oh yeah, my my bathroom door is wide open. I have confidence out the wazoo. That's corny. <laughs> 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 you do. You do have I'm a. You, life, do, you do have a drape. You can for no, your bathroom. Good. If Gail walks in, I'll like put I'll put something over. Oh yeah, Derlin can totally like stand in front of the door. You can just uh, turn oh, into a bear and block the brother. entire view. Yeah, I walk right here. Nah, I'm just gonna pull my blanket up and be like, um, <laughs> hi. Do I hear him come into that room? Uh, you can hear a door open. Probably. Gail, is that you? <laughs> open oh, it is the door open or is it closed? Uh, the door is uh, open. You, all the doors are open. Uh, okay. Well, well, uh, you, well, you automatically open and close it, but uh, it's. I assume your doors to your personal living quarters are closed. Natalie just came in here, so it would have so been. So, you, you, uh, Gail, do you knock out. before you go inside? I kind of yell. The door's him. open. Like, well, well, it's. If it's wide it, open. Uh, uh, it's closed, so you have to like knock and uh, open. Or just oh, climb closed. a slide right through it. Just throw it open and come in. It's yeah, fine. if it's closed, <laughs> it, would knock. it would knock. Mm. Okay. I assume that all the doors are closed. Maybe, except uh, maybe, maybe except for uh, the library and the, and the dens. And maybe the hallway. Assume uh, the doors to your per living quarter, personal living quarters are closed. So you walk in, Gale. Uh, what do you? What do you say? Uh, what do you do when you get there? Uh, well, I guess if everyone's coming, then I don't want to be the odd man out. So if you have an extra ticket, I'll go. Wait, I got him to come. Yay! Now we can all go to the store and buy beautiful dresses and suits. And I'm getting like really excited. I'm You're gonna get out of the welcome tub. to come. Of course. I'm gonna forget my towel and walk out here naked, looking for my towel. <laughs> I grab my just it around her. <laughs> Trying to get it around her. <laughs> Thank you. I start drying my hair with this towel, this blanket you've just given me, and now it's sopping wet. You know, I don't feel bad for attacking you earlier. Mm hmm. I just ignore it and come over here to my chest and get out my clothes. So I'm going to start putting my clothes on. <clears throat> so, are we going to go shopping? Let's go shopping. So why do yeah. why do you guys go shopping? I'm gonna, go I'm, gonna, shopping. I'm gonna turn to the rest of the party members. What do you guys, uh, first Wayne? What do you do? First, of, I just went into his room. Oh. First, of, we're going shopping for clothes. Are you coming? Uh, I mm, hang on. I need to check my bank balance. I have zero. I'm totally depending on this. Do you already do you already have fancy clothes? No, he doesn't. Uh, he most certainly does not. So, how much so money do you have? He does have an extensive spend. knowledge of shonky shops, though. Uh, let me see. How much gold does he have? I have traveler's yeah. clothes. Yeah, I think so. I, I think you can go, go shooping. So wait, I don't have any gold. Can I just take some out of the loan fund? Oh, no, I can't. Uh, let me see this. Do you well, have any dirty yeah, We have definitely. some gold. We have some gold in there. We have twelve gold in there. Um, Thirty-two I silver. I still have the spell book okay. that we need to sell too. Okay, uh, cool. that's true. We can go to that library to add to add to the the fund. Does Whipperforth let me pick him up right now, Persevere? No. I would say you guys have it. about oh, okay. five five hours of level. shopping, maybe six hours of shopping. I'm gonna get down as I'm be like, we can get you a bow tie and you'll look so handsome and cute. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to the store. Mm. Everybody is coming shopping, right? Gail, are you coming? Gail. No. Oh, oh Gail is. Uh, Do you uh, fancy clothes? Gail is leaving. He's not. What a joy. 
So what do you no, uh, what, what do you Gail well, what do you wanna do, Gail? While these guys are going shopping. Uh, I think someone should stay and watch these guys uh work on the 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 bar, so that's what I'm gonna do until everyone gets back. Do you want me to get you anything? Like uh, a suit? Yeah. Okay. What's your and size? And I'll hand you extra medium. Okay. Extra medium. I'll give you ten gold. <laughs> That's the most bullshit size I've ever heard of. Okay. Ten gold. Sweet. This sounds great. Okay. So I will. You're just gonna trust my judgment on an outfit. This is gonna go fabulous. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come back with like this blue know, this velvet outfit. tuxedo <laughs> from like the eighties. Yes. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think about that. That's horrible. Right. <laughs> Do it now. Do I'm it gone. now. One of those um oh. baby blue frilly tuxedos. Yes. All right, you forget go. how old I am. I know the really terrible fashion from back then. <laughs> forget how old we are. <laughs> We're pretty old, too, I feel like. I don't remember what we put on our sheet, though. We didn't so actually put a time. Back. I was assuming a couple hundred years. We weren't oh, sure. Oh, right, because we didn't know how old we were, so we had to guess. I remember. Mm, yeah. You don't Gale, Dale, it. Derlin and Dale don't know how old they are. <laughs> Somebody just messaged me. I'm well, you famous. Gotta be, you gotta be at least a hundred. Oh, oh yeah, we're we're we have an age. It's just we don't know how <laughs> you, do you many have years an plus age. <laughs> <laughs> but like the age when the time passed, we didn't have um we couldn't tell how long how much passed, and we didn't age properly. So it was just kind of like okay, well I guess we're old now. You don't look old, but we're well, old. Well, time didn't pass uh, as fast as uh, for you as it did for everybody, everybody, everybody else. Yeah. So, okay, are you gonna stand put and work on uh, the drinking menu with uh, the Spectre with Liv? Yeah, I'll hang out with uh, the specter. Uh, okay. I'm gonna make it so that you guys can, con all of you can control him. Michael, do you know what my coloring book is? Mm. Ah, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna control him. It looks better that way. Okay, so who among? Yeah, so it was everybody but Gail is going shopping, and everybody is going to the opera. Wait, first of all, you're coming with us. He's taking Whipperforth, yeah, so he's coming. feeling obligated. Yeah, Whipperforth and I are coming with. Gail is standing put. Okay. Okay. Okay, so can uh, some of you see the water deep map? Yes. Okay, all well, everyone except the Gale. I, I just learned that I can put some of you on a different map and leave the other one behind. Oh, that's nice. I just learned it yesterday. So, Gale, you're, you can actually do your stuff at uh, what you want in the manor because I can see that map but you, you're the only one there right now so the rest of you uh, 
The theater is in the seaward. So where do you guys want to go shopping? I'm following Natalie because I don't know the area. I'm gonna look at first and say, "Hey, you should. Do you know where of any suit shops we can go to?" Um, hmm, this is interesting because he wouldn't. He would probably know where like the fancy ones are, but that would not be his first port of call. He'd be looking to go to like, like the equivalent of the thrift store. Okay. We're going to a fancy one. We're gonna spend money on this. We're gonna keep them for a while. So direct me to those ones, the fancy ones. <laughs> so either Gail or Natalie. Uh, roll me a straight. Choose I. Uh, let's see. <laughs> sheet for reference choose either uh, wisdom or yeah you can either choose a straight wisdom or a survival Yeah, uh, same for me. Both the same for me. So, 12. Uh, you have, like... Uh... You might know a place. Not sure if it's uh, still open though, or if it has any good prices or. But you you, you have some uh, general ideas on where you can go. Um. I am never finding the shop. <laughs> You're, not. You're just like, wait, this way? No, no, that way? No, no, that way. You would <laughs> think that circle. we're lost. You think that I would be able to know, considering that I've probably lived in the city, like this character, as long as I have lived in my town, like me in real life. <laughs> well, there's like, we're surrounded by houses. Let's just knock on a door and ask somebody. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna yeah. go up to the nearest house. Go well. I'm doing it. I'm going up to the nearest house and I start knocking on the door. Really? Okay. Hello? Anybody home? No. Dimitri, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can actually just uh, move your token and. Um. I'm at a house, right? Yeah, you're at the Trolls Alley. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just go- like, even if it's a shop, I just go to the nearest building and start knocking. Or if it's a shop, I go in. I don't know what I see right now. Uh, okay, so you guys want to... Well, then I should be able to know my way to the market. Yeah, the market, yeah, yeah, I have the market, If but... nothing else, I should be able to know my way to the market. Yeah, so but I think, I think about one thing here. We're playing the winter, uh, winter season. It's gonna be freezing cold. Do you think the market will be open during the winter? But all I'm guessing all of like the the shops would be off of the market. Yeah, because uh, well, you look at well, you look at Trader's Way. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. I so I'm gonna go down to the market, and then we'll just go because there's Trader's Way, Bazaar Street. You can just so, like, follow. You're you're can just follow you can just You can you can just follow the high road, actually. Yeah. 
you kind of get the, oh, why, wait, why don't we just go to the market? And see if any shops are open, uh, even if it's winter outside. Well, I feel like she's more recentering herself because she can find yeah. the market than she can find the sto sh the dress store. Yeah, because I'm assuming, because like logically, in a town, if you have the market there, even during the time that it's the outdoor market is closed, like uh, most of the shops are going to build like off of the market, like okay. uh, the the actual storefronts. Like off of the market because they'll be closer for shoppers. And the market is perhaps. And the market is centrally located. Yeah. yeah. If you look at the whole map, yeah, you can see that the market is practically in the middle of the city. Yeah. And it's a huge part. Uh, so maybe the shops are open, but there are no like tents and stands uh, during the winter, but uh, normal shops. Yeah, normal shops would be open. Yeah. yeah. These are the like big areas to buy uh, all kinds of stuff, but there are also normal shops uh, in uh, like every, uh, like in every neighborhood. You could say that each of these are a neighborhood between every street. Yeah. In each neighborhood should have at least one kind of shop, but you, you, know, we, you don't really know what kind of shop it is. Your your area has uh, uh, more than one shop. You, uh, you visited a potion shop last session. That was the only one you visited so far, but there are, there are a few more. So, you guys go to the market? That is what I am doing. Yeah, yeah. so take the token to the market. You guys have access to logical. I got it. Yeah, as you can see, there are like dozens and dozens of uh, shops. There are a lot of shops in the in the marketplace. Not all of them are open, though. There are plenty of them, though, to get and uh, to go around. You actually can you can actually see a, a woman shop and a, a woman women a clothing shop for women a clothing shop for men and they're also they're also like uh, shops for uh, exotic uh, shops and uh, for both clothes and uh, other stuff. I'm gonna grab Natalie's arm, like, you know, like some really girly girl would do, and just start, like, dragging her towards the women's shop. Mm. Super excited. Hell yeah. I get dragged. Say, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm hold my hand up and day all up. What? Would you like some money? Sure. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give her 10 of the 12 gold here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. We're just gonna limit it to ten per person. Fine. Oh yeah, you. Were... I accept it, and then I give you a kiss on the cheek and continue uh. going into the store. Oh yeah, you were broke, right? Yeah, I was broke. Sterling just gave me money. I don't know how everybody has money, and I don't. <laughs> yeah, when do you spend it on uh, I get, something? Uh, I know the feeling because I have a level fourteen druid, and he's broke. He has no <laughs> copper. He's not. He doesn't even have one copper. That's why you make yourself related to somebody in the campaign, and then they have to give you stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the healer in the party now, so I... I uh, <laughs> they have to uh, give me what I need for my spells. Okay, so also, I run into the women's store. Also, so. Dayla, what color did you buy get? I don't... We well, no, matching? we're matching, so I have to get my outfit first, and then you can get your outfit. No. We're twins. We match. It's so you guys go into one uh, shop. 
Yeah, Presswain, do you, do you, you take uh, Darlin into the bench shop? Yep, sure do. Well, yeah. we still have to take him into the woman's shop. Well, well unless, you, unless you want to see them buy uh, underwears and other stuff. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look at him like, uh, no. <laughs> Let's go over here. <laughs> I'll be in the men's shop shortly because I have to get Gail's outfit. Oh. So. Oh, yeah. This is the men's shop, and uh, this is the women's shop. Yeah, I'll go into the women's shop first because I wanna. I'm excited about like dressing Natalie. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Natalie, might... like, what do you usually like? What do you usually wear? Oh, she's uh, either in armor whenever they're like fighting, or just in bookish sort of clothes. So like I'm really excited to like make over you. <laughs> so like Dale is just like getting super pumped up. Okay, so you want uh, you Dale, you want to take charge in uh, buying clothes to Natalie. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if she lets me. If she doesn't, then that's fine. But like I'm super giddy, so I'm like just dragging her along, and like all prepared to oh. like get her dressed like a doll. <laughs> Natalie will be a little. Um... No, actually, with her father, she'll know how to how to pick out a dress. Ew. Have you ever <laughs> wear a dress before? Yeah, because her father is like sort of a higher up um, elf in the city. Okay. So, yeah, she's probably been to like events before. Mm, <laughs> she just about... doesn't. She just doesn't normally dress like that. How about you, Dale? Uh, have you ever I... worn a dress before? So, um, like, I don't know about fancy, because I probably would have never worn a super fancy dress. But as far as, like, daily life goes, I always wear dresses. I don't wear pants unless I'm in armor. So, like, my default is just, like, a, like, like a nightgown for bed and then, like, just a day dress for daytime. Like, I'm always in a dress because I like them. Um, or Dayella would like them. Um, even like growing up, she would have been in like flowy like summer dresses in the woods and stuff. So I don't know about fancy because I haven't gone to fancy events yet, which is why she's so excited about this. Um, but I've definitely yeah, well, worn had, dresses. We've probably had uh, business dinners, so. No, that would have been you and Dad. That wouldn't have That's been me. True. I stayed home with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> with mom. Okay, so yeah, I would, yeah. So I'm, like, excited to find a fancy dress. But I definitely worn them, just not fancy. Okay. That's fair. Uh, okay, so you guys look around, and you started to do, like, uh, Pretty Woman tryouts. <laughs> I'm looking for a red dress because my hair is red and that's my color. That's the movie you reference. Yep, I gotta <laughs> do the Pretty Woman reference. Oh gosh. I approve. A red dress? <laughs> Don't we have red hair? Yeah, that's the point. You like look all oh, gonna, yeah. It's gonna right. clash. You know, okay. oh gosh, clash. Have you guys really not bad. seen. No, 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 no. Have also, you guys not seen Riverdale? Traditionally, it's green with red cringe, hair. Cringe, cringe. Riverdale's not a good way to go off of. Just, yeah. so, you, just no. so you guys know, I'm gonna start a. Uh, on YouTube, Pretty Woman. Song. No, no, hold on. Not the TV show. The, the, uh, hold on, I'll show you. I'm gonna send a screenshot to everybody. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna start the Pretty Woman song and it's gonna be on the, in the stream. People are gonna hear it. Oh, the, the actual Roy Orbison Pretty Woman? Yeah. You can. And only play for like 15 seconds and be sure if you put that on. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> what? You can? Only play it for about 15 seconds before you get a copyright strike. Uh, copyright. Damn, I play music on my stream all the time. <laughs> well, the streams are different. Oh, is it you for D&D? Specifically? No, if you put your streams, if you put your streams on, uh, on YouTube, and you have uh, copyright music, uh, you'll get striked. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't do that then. Also, I've played back like VODs before where they've had like copyright music and it'll be muted during that part. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. On our first session, I actually played the Spotify music. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, well, you, you guys can have, like, the Pretty Woman theme in your head, like, you go shopping, like, checking for dresses. It's gonna take you, this is gonna take you uh, a while, because you, I, I suppose you're not gonna buy just one dress for each other? I probably, well, yeah, I probably get, like, two. Mm. You kind of find pretty decent prices, too. You can actually afford uh, two uh, pr uh, dresses and get some money, leftovers. And what do you guys decide? Uh, I'm gonna go to Persevane and uh, Derlin. So you guys are in here. Um, you guys are in this shop here. And do you have like any ideas on what kind of uh, clothing you're looking for? Um, I'm waiting for Daella to finish up. Oh god. So, what? Eat a dick, Carter. Um, so, like, this is what I was picturing because it's like red hair, like, it's her signature color, like, she has like, Red hair, and she wears red dresses. And, like, it's supposed to clash, but you kind of, like, make it work. I don't know why it's not loading. Give me a second. Yeah, it's not loading. Load, you stupid picture. Oh, uh, yeah, it's... Try sending it over to him. Mm, send. Oh, there you go. Oh, finally. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, this I... is from Riverdale, the show, and... It... I don't no. see it. Well, ignore I don't, I don't the see fact it. that it's from Riverdale. It's the fact that she has red hair and she's wearing a red dress. I, I don't see any of, it, any of them. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. It seems to be still loading. Yeah. First one worked for me. I... No. Fine. I hate her Dude, outfits. Color. Why? I just hated them. They were not good. Red was I her don't color. like the flash. The reds are color, oh sure. God. But the red hair, that color red hair with that red dress did not look good. I thought she made it work just fine. It was just too much. Well, that's the point. She's eccentric, like De Ella. Oh, there it is. Okay, I, I can bitch. see it now. Well, of course uh, she was yeah. an evil bitch. De Ella's not an evil bitch. I'm just saying she wore all the red because it was eccentric. So I would say the middle one suits you. We can get a different color outfit. It's fine. Oh, I wasn't looking at the actual outfits. I was just giving an example of uh, red. red. Well, the, like, the middle oh, one yeah. or the, <laughs> the middle right one, perhaps. Okay. Well, it's all right. I'll, you guys, the guys can do shopping. And Carter, you choose a color then. You just shut my color down. Now so, Presvane, you, uh, you, uh, you go around the shop and you find some uh, good and decent uh, suits, attires. And, oh, yeah. Athena, lime green. Yeah. Lime green? Yeah, lime green. Yep, the most disgusting what? color there is. I would not say lime. <laughs> I would do green. I mean, red and green do A go dark together. Dark green go well. Yeah, I guess we can do green. We just look like really, really elves. But I guess we are elves. So well, you yeah, you are elves, so green mm. should be your natural color, and you are you were a wood elf, so definitely green. Forest green. Okay, so we can go with forest green then for an outfit. So I'll just look for forest green dresses in this female shop. <clears throat> Natalie, you weren't a forest elf, were you? What type of elf were you? That I would visually see. I know you're half, but Dayla doesn't know you're half. That's why she's being uh, nice. Probably um, 
wood elf or okay so do you want to go green yeah, what dayla else? asks you like do you want to match and do green with derlin and i this is actually there you go cena what i love how we're spamming the DD chat with dresses mm. <laughs> right yeah that one right there is what natalie Ooh. It's not do i like loading. that one yeah, yours isn't loading, Carter. Yours wasn't even- it's weird that they're not loading. Yeah, yours, the, you, yours did not load at all. Did you send yeah. yours through cell phone? No, I'm th sending it through, um, computer. Ooh, I yours. like your dress, hey. um, Natalie. Hey, Natalie, do, isn't this, like, uh, one of the dresses from, uh... One of the Friday campaigns we used to play together? Mm -mm. No, this is, uh, actually, uh... A deviant art artist mm. that does like different gowns. Yeah, but you do you, you remember that dress you got? Yeah. That was an awesome dress. There's a there's a green one. Oh, Ooh. oh yeah, Where? that one. Yes. Is, that one is like so elven like. My son with red hair. That is definitely a uh, elven like dress. It's. Some, know, something you might tiny. even see, you could even see in Lord of the Rings, actually. Alright, Dayella wants that dress, if she sees it. Mm. Hopefully she sees something like that. And then I'm gonna get... Yeah. Copy. Yeah, it's a really nice dress. So I'd like to get that dress for the party, and then if there's something like this, hopefully it shows up. I want to get this for every day. It's not going to show up. This Discord hates me right now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and to bad my viewers might, uh, don't even can't even see it. It's all right. Well, it's a that, simple that, green that, dress that, for that, that green one is so lovely. I just want to copy it to Roll Twenty somehow or my stream. That is a really pretty. Just yes. save and upload it. Uh, put it into the um, the party documents, and then you should be able to like the party handout section, uh -oh. and you should be able to bring it up on screen. Oh yeah, the party bank. Uh, yeah. I'm... Okay, I got some new link. Oh, I love that dress. Fire, uh, firefly path. Um, oh yeah, copy image. Um, Wait, no. Save image. Top. Uh, <laughs> okay. Nice. I'm just gonna upload this. I think it's because she did a link instead of a photo, because photos don't seem to be working right now, Carter. Okay. Can't find anything for mail. Please. Uh, no, no. See where it landed. I think the top one would go better with the hair color than the darker green. I don't know, I'm having a, my vision is having a hard time catching that. I'm blue green colorblind, like. <laughs> oh. Okay. There it is. No, I'm just gonna upload this. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love that. Man, I don't know if Dayella would wear that, but like Athena loves that. I like the mermaid scales. That's fabulous. Oh, yeah, that one was lovely, too. Uh, the other green one was pretty okay, too. Nope. <laughs> I don't Sorry. think Michael likes it. My husband's changing a baby diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where are you getting the links from? It is from. Ah, that, how are you doing this? That, it is that, just not working for me. That that artist. So um, if it's cool, I'll do the light green one as the fancy outfit, and then if they have something like the one that I posted a second ago, um, I'd like that for just an everyday dress, uh, because I feel like uh, Dela would want a new dress, just for every day to wear around the bar. <clears throat> All right now, I gotta find suit. Or Gale. <laughs> They're hard to find. Uh, it's not working. Do the link, not the that way. Like, cause you can't. It's not letting you upload images right now. So if you post the link, at least they can click on it, and it'll, yeah, it'll take them to a different page, but then they'll still be able to see it. Yeah. Well, we'll figure out that later. But so you have uh, some dresses to choose from. Yeah. And. Uh, and those three dresses, if you want to pick all three of them, um, no, Dayla will just get the lime green one and then the really, really simple green one that I posted. Um, okay, from the well, shop. okay, so what about you, Kate, uh, Natalie? Do you want the first one? You? She, yeah, she's going to get the first one. Okay. So that's gonna be seven gold pieces for uh, How much? three. Seven gold pieces for those three dresses. They are not, they're, the fabric is not that expensive. It's not like uh, very high quality, but it looks like it's a. Uh, uh, you, you look like you're a uh, high noble when you wear it. It's okay. okay. So Nat it's supposed to make. Uh, will pay for all three dresses. Aww, okay. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> they're actually so not that. Just... They're, they're actually not that expensive. It's uh, this is just a common shop, but uh, a normal commoner wouldn't afford it. Uh, couldn't afford it because they are like one gold a year or something like that. So I'm gonna give her a kiss on the cheek and then skip across the street to the guy store to get something for Gail. Gail, you're a human, right? Gail's a human, right? Gale. Okay, you are a half elf. Okay, what's yeah. the half that you are? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Looking at that's what you're uh, getting. Okay. No, I'm just looking. There might be a possibility. I'm having a hard time finding anything. Really. So you're a half elf. Do I know that you're only half, or like Dayella, or does she think you're full elf? Half. He looks more so human. So I than know elf. you're okay. I know you're half. So I'm gonna be a bitch. All right, cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, some of these accessories are so pretty. I'm trying to find any guy's stuff. I know I saw some. I am, like, struggling. Ugh. Oh. Okay, hmm. Gail, I'm gonna pop back to you. So, what do you, uh, what do you are? Looks like a smoking jacket. So while they are shopping, what are you doing with uh, together with Liv? Are you writing up a menu? Your, part, your, yeah. friends, your friends have been gone for uh, three hours. <gasps> yeah, I'm coming up with like a food menu and a drink menu. Mm. And 
talking to the ghost. How does the drink menu go? Oh, a molten dragon egg breeze. Dire wolf punch. Quickly escalating pie potion. <laughs> Carter, I'm gonna send you a picture. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give all of you some homework after the session. <laughs> oh, I've been doing homework. I've got a list somewhere. How about the uh, the ingredients? And names uh, for cocktails. Yeah, but uh, also the ingredients for it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, good. I'm working on it. Perfect. I mean, it's not finished, but I've been working on it. Mm. Did you see the picture it. I sent you, Carter? It didn't come through right. No, 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 the link. Click it. The steampunk stuff, though. No, 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 it's the... Look at the outfit. It didn't take... Ignore the title. Didn't... Oh, okay, never mind. Then let me try to find it. Took me just and they spelled wrong. Steam spelled wrong. Yeah, alright, hold on. Um, Discord needs to get its crap together. Um, yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Don't do it. Don't click this, that. Discord can be a little off. If you don't want this, I'm gonna get it for Dur um for Gail. All right, try that one. No, I found we can, there's some better ones. Okay. So we're all wearing green, or like a version of. I'll get so him I'm... something that isn't green. I want him to get him a horrible outfit, but I can't find any horrible, like, outfit. Somebody help me find an awful outfit for Gail. <laughs> I mean, some of these are awful, but they're not awful in a funny way. They're just awful in a, in a really sad way. <laughs> I feel like we have to have a drink that's called Troll. Something with the troll name. Hmm. You can work on that. Troll's piss? It'd be a beer, a very sweet looking <laughs> beer. Oh, jeez. Leave it with me. I've got a few ones. Hang on a second. Where's my list? There's, uh, there's of course the Candle Keep coffee, which is just an Irish coffee. Okay. Uh, was it the uh, Soul Coast Sling? Uh, what's the other one? White Water Davian. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, a Bloody Boulder. Uh, <laughs> my freaking list. Bloody. Bloody Boulder. Well, it's a Bloody Mary, but with, you know, oh, Boulder's yeah. Gate. Mm. Um, nah, I'm still working on that one. Mm. Oh, Snillox Slowball with Slow Gin. Uh, viscous Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> You're just taking spells at this point. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I did. Power Word Drink. <laughs> Oh shit. A gelatinous booze. It's gonna be like a serious uh, com uh, competition to the uh, only portal. <laughs> you can order you can order an owl beer. Can we put Gale on that? <laughs> or a Yuan tea. Yeah, I'll get that for Gale, sure. Dice tea. 
I couldn't find anything better that fits the time period. For gelatinous beer, we can just throw in uh, some chia seeds into the. It's the a jello shot. It's a jello shot. That it looks, looks like, like uh, Kevin Bacon, Bacon at yeah, young age. <laughs> In the nineties. <laughs> Gelatinous anything needs to be a jello shot. I'm telling you. It's true. Juanti, okay. You're definitely getting to hang on to drinks, so... Let's continue shopping! shopping. <laughs> you guys might be surprised when you get back to the tavern and you see all the menus they've been working on. <laughs> Probably. I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be very uh, happy when I hear uh, the reaction from all of you when you taste the drinks the inspector is <laughs> providing you, mixing. Since he's going to... Are you gonna, like, are you guys going to officially hire him as bartender? I mean... He, he could probably be both the bartender and the bouncer. That's true. I mean, how hard would it be to break off a, a small fight, a fist fight in your tavern with a specter working um. for you? Oh, I just found the same one, Athena. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get that one for Gail. We've already got my two outfits. And then I'm just going to go get a generic bow tie for Whipperforth. Because I have a feeling that first I want the silver one. hasn't done that. Yeah. The one you sent to No, I'm That's the one I was just about to send that. I'm good in that for Gail. You have to wear green. We just discussed this. But there's no green. Hey, hey press me. I think, think you should. Uh, may, isn't that something you would look good at? What? <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me have a look here. Uh, no, he wouldn't wear that. <laughs> okay. I'd wear that. He, I don't think he'd like wear the that. I got it for Gail. <laughs> Thing that he you would wear be something like a like a sort of a fancy gambus on. How's that? A that gambeson? but in green. It's, the, it's the quilted oh, stuff you wear under armor. Oh. What, do, what do you think of that, Gail? The one I just sent. What the Prince Charming thing? Yeah, we love. <laughs> Why not? Okay, Sure. He'll wear it. The one that you posted, Carter? Yeah. Okay, but just, well, like, let's just visually say that the silver one is a green color. Yeah. Because I want to, to match you. Okay, so is that everybody? And then I went and got a bow tie for Wiverforth. So how much is that for all the guys out there? So yeah, and you're talking about the uh, clothing for the guys too? Yeah, so um, we have Carter is in that silver outfit, but it's going to be green that I posted. But blue's going to be green. Cloak can be green and the silver can stay. Gail is in the one with the cape over the shoulder. And uh, Robert Savain, what were you getting? Um, So I'm going to try and post the link to this in chat. Okay. Links seem to be working. No. Just, oh, God damn it. It's annoying because I'm using uh, my trackpad and I'm not a huge fan of trackpads. Trackpads? Oh, trackpads. Trackpads. Oh. Yeah. Just like, what the hell? Um, let's see. Also, I'm using Mozilla, which is. Not my standard. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm not super fond of it. Uh, let me go. I'm just going to send the link to the. Oh, hang on. Save image as email. No. Copy image location. That'll do. Yeah. 
if you look at that, he'd get it in black and white uh, and with dragons rather than lines on it. But that's what that's something that he would wear something in that vein. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. That makes sense. Especially Very for the fact that he didn't want to go. It's not like super fancy, but like it's yeah. just enough that people aren't going to look at you like, what the fuck? Just fancy enough. I've gotten you know through my actually, whole life doing that. For I want to get the um, what is it? The one I sent with the, just the cape and there's no body, it's just floating. Um, yes. And then I'll and the for Whipperforth, uh, I will get a hey. tiny opera cape and a tiny top hat and a oh. tiny bow tie. Aww. And the monocle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Aww. So that's your uh, fancy dress? Yes, well, in, like I said, black and white with dragons rather than lines, but yes, yeah. if I can acquire something like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. If, if, if I can't get the embroidery done, I, it'd just be plain black and white. Like a yin and yang? Uh, it would just, because, like, that's kind of his color scheme. Yeah, okay, yeah. You find a nice, uh, suitable, uh, shirt like that for, uh, just, uh, under two gold. Not dressiness note, would there be armor in these stores? Or is it, like, just clothing? Like these dress, these are just clothing. clothing. Okay, cool. So... Wow, well, you never know. Is he, gonna, uh, is, is he gonna wear his armor underneath? That's the question. Stay in Dimitri. Um... Sorry. <laughs> So how much would it be for the two clo two things of clothes I got? Uh, which ones are are they? There are several. The sil the <laughs> okay, so the silver with blue cape, the one that she uh, the Athena posted. Yeah. And then if you scroll up to the things I posted, the green, the second green, um, cape with like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see... The green with the dark cape? Yeah. Uh, those two are five gold pieces. How much is the link that Carter posted below the one I posted? And above You, you guys posted a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's the... So, you see Persevanes with the red and white, the one directly above that. Um, the gray one? Yeah, and it has like the cape. Carter uh, posted it. Yeah. Mm, that the one, one that says Josh Dallas once upon yeah, a time. Yeah, yeah. Prince Charming, really, once upon a time. Carter posted it. Uh, I, I just found something and sent it, because yeah. there's not much male clothes. I don't, even, I don't even one? remember he's, he wears that, and I've seen the entire show. Um, that, that alone is four gold. Okay, so I take... That is some... like a mock-up from uh, like a real noble. Okay, so I take the four, some of the gold that uh, Gail gave me, and that's the I pay to use that for that outfit. So you're in the men's shop, uh, shop and... Yes, yeah, I've crossed over with my stuff. And uh, okay. got that. And now yeah. you're, still, you're also there. Or... Yes, uh, yes. I'm in there. Yeah, you're there, so yeah. I'm just kind of browsing, waiting mm. for everyone else to be done. Yeah. Also, the male customer, uh, the male owner, just wondering what you women are doing here uh, buying this is like a men's <laughs> shop like it's hey what... i can wear men's clothes too <laughs> you want to buy something it's hard to find <laughs> some proper women's clothing with the fact that they're all tailored perfectly to our boobs <laughs> mm. and just so you know you have to wear something uh outside of it because it's gonna be freezing cold and you have a long way to go. The theater is in Castle Ward, just so you know. 
Because they have a long way, you have, you have to go even further south. So you have to go all the way up to your tavern or dress up, and then you have to go back down again. So we should probably start heading back to the tavern yeah. so we can get dressed. Alright, let's you, go. You notice that uh, it's been three hours. That's a since good shopping trip. Since you left. Alright, so let's head back to the house, I guess, guys. It took you quite a long time to get, uh, get there and the shopping and go all the way back. So, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna put you back. Uh. So you guys should be back in, uh, in the manor? Mm-hmm. Gail, you're just sitting by the bar, working with the drinks, and you see all you see everyone just walking, uh, walking in the front door. Okay, so we have to Welcome hurry back. and get dressed. Gail, here's your outfit. I just like place it on this chair. And then I'm gonna run to my room and start getting dressed. And yeah. I might mention that I did not give him back change, nor did I mention how much the outfit cost. I kind of just ran to my room. <laughs> so you just say, <laughs> are you guys even saying hi to Gail, or do you just uh, you're rushing past him? I I said, here's your outfit, and then I ran to my room. I'm just like, hey, better get dressed. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Like my sister, I am very confident and just start taking off my shirt and walking up the stairs. While I'm getting dressed in real life, I'm gonna go pee while Dale is doing her thing. Be right back. I start banging against the wall because I can't get to the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a weird setup we have here. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's a very <laughs> weird setup. Yeah. Okay. okay, this is a door. Yeah, you can't get through it. Is there an exit here? No. <laughs> oh my god, that's the way to get through. What? What? Where? Right here. Uh, can't see come right on. Right, right, right over here. Right over here. Oh. It's like right through Wait, the wall. Wait, what? Why is that? It's right through a window. Oh, I can go through another window. This is how we even transport ourselves, just climbing through windows. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's <laughs> like, uh, it's supposed. <laughs> so you have to, like, go. Remember that uh, these. This is not the door, this is a wall. So you have to go, like, outside. This is like uh, the entrance, and this is like the stairs, and you will end up here. This will lead you to your living quarters, and these are the stairs up to the third floor. Yeah, no, so you, and Natalie, cool. you have to like go here and here, and your private hallway. Nah, I just climb through a window. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Passes by Natalie. Oh, hello, yeah, yeah. Natalie. It, 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 we're gonna just floor. say to everyone that you do that. Just so uh, I don't have to have the dynamic lightning walls blocking you. I, I can actually make sure you have uh, restricted movement so you can't go through the walls. That would be pain in the ass for you guys. But I'm not going to do that, just because this is your home. It's so much easier. Uh, okay, so, uh, while you were gone, um, Gail, 
Why don't you join me in the private chat? Gail? Gail, Gail. You have to go down to the private chat. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. Welcome. Okay, so while you, uh, they were gone, you have been uh, approached by a member of the Order of the Gauntlet. Okay. Uh, and her name, uh, it's a she, It's her name is Savra Bellabranta. She's a female Tetrian uh, human. Uh, she's also a knight. And she invites you to the Halls of Justice. Uh, it's the Temple of uh, Tyr, located west of the market in the Castle Ward. You can go there anytime uh, you want. She's in the Castle Ward? Uh, it's, it's located west of the, uh, of the market in the Castle Ward, yes. I will locate. I will put. Uh, I will locate it on map for you. Uh, I can actually do that right now. Uh, let's see where is that. There it is. Uh, Castle Ward. It's also justice. Can you see it uh, right next to the market? Gail? Yeah, there it is. Yep. There's the Halls of Justice. And you you have been invited to the... to the place uh, to swear in to the Order. And you can also take with you any of your... Uh, all your friends if you want to. And ask them, and ask if they want, uh, so th they can be asked to join too. You don't have to like, if you don't want to tell them uh, why you're going there, or where you take them, that's up to you. But you can say you've been invited to a temple. Okay. Cause of justice to. And yeah. what's her name? Savra what? Uh, her name was Savra Bellabranta. I will put that in your private chat. Uh... Okay. And do I have a time frame for that? Um, no, you can go there. Anytime you want. You have been. You have. You have an official invite. So, but there is no time frame. Okay. He's. He says there's no time frame, but uh, she says there's no time frame. But she would like you to decide the next couple of days if you want to join. All right. But you have to All go right. there to. Uh, or uh, to join the order. You can't do that from where you are now. You have to go to the Halls of Justice. Okay. Hmm? All right. Okay, then. Now we join the others. Yeah, I don't think either one of us ended up being a co-signer for it. Hello. So it'd have to Hello be again. Gail. 
Hello. So you're talking to trash behind my back again? Yes. <laughs> All the time, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, so, so... What'd you talk about? Ah, <laughs> uh, stuff. <laughs> Just stuff. All right. So is everybody ready to go to the opera? Um... You have to ask them. Oh, yeah. I have to take you. Yeah, All right. I'm ready. Speaking I'm going to stand by the front door. You have my change there. You are nowhere near me. I can't hear you unless you're shouting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the front door ready to go. <laughs> are you shouting? Can I hear you? I'm coming down the stairs, Do so I'm not... outside. Hey, you just go around. You can, just, you, 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 can, you can just use the picture from the drinking menu for like reference on how the yard outside your tavern looks like. I As feel like waiting. we should knock down that wall so that we can get outside easier instead of walking <laughs> all the way around the building. <laughs> Well, well that wall my... that wall is I... uh, underneath your uh stair. Just it do what I did. Climb out the window. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh my god. I have bad knees. <laughs> yeah, you can probably climb up uh, from the balcony that's uh, right here and just climb up to the roof that's uh above it. And then climbing one of the four windows. You can just climb out to this balcony uh, uh, over here. This is like the. Yeah, yeah the. The kid, the, the kid agrees. <laughs> <laughs> he actually agrees. <laughs> So as we're waiting for everybody, Dale is just braiding her hair and trying to do like a ton of braids that wrap because her hair is like super long and thick. So she's just like trying like that last minute rush where she didn't have time. So she's just now doing it outside while we wait. Okay. So how long? Until you guys think you're finished dressing and styling up. Persevine, Carter, we're waiting on you guys. Wait for the, oh, sorry, what? <laughs> the we're girls waiting. were finished first. <laughs> and the girls um, always take the longest. This is like. <laughs> this is not I true. I, he's I, done I, now. In real life, I am always finished first. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> like. I finished I after I wake up. So then get your butt down here. We're still waiting. Eh. Eh. Hurry up. We're right at the front door? We can't. Oh, we okay. Oh, we're right here. Yeah. Alright then. Okay, so off to the okay. opera. Did you want your money back, Gail? Did you ask her yet? Yep. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna be like, oh, I, I, I forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna like take out the change and give it to you. Thank you very much. So, uh, actually, are you guys, are, gonna walk away. Seriously, are you guys going through the balcony? I don't know where. I don't know. I was uh, over this, here. This, this, this is the main entrance, yeah. guys. This is I like a. This, this is kind. This is a balcony. Switched. Well, it still has stairs. <laughs> yeah, but it's a balcony. You can walk. You can. So the, this is this is the main entrance, and. Uh, this door cannot be opened from the outside because it's a uh, safety measure so people don't sneak in. So I'm this this is like... A, like an escape route. Um, and uh, so is this one. But this is also the entrance. So I'm going to say no problem mortal and then we're going to start walking away. Or I'm going to walk away. Outside. Oh, this uh, door, though, my... this door, though, it can be held open, so it doesn't close. Yeah, 
I'm gonna make sure every door is locked before we leave. Okay. So, then we are going to the water deep map. Can everybody see the map? I just see the tavern. Yeah, I just oh, see I the still tavern. see the tavern. Uh... Also, I'm bringing my shield and a mace. <laughs> I turn around. No. To the opera. <laughs> to the. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna look down and look. Just shaking my head now. I mean, Last if this I was, was Repo. Bar, a troll came out of a hole and tried to kill us. So. How about now? Can you see the world map? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Is there a carriage or something we can take? <laughs> taxi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, probably. Flag, mm -hmm. down, flag down a taxi. There's got to be some sort of like service that gets you from places. Public places. transport. Oh my god, you want to take public transportation? Yes, I do. I'm wearing a very nice dress and I don't want it to get muddy. It's not muddy, it's snowy, it's, it's uh, I don't want it to get wet. <laughs> it's more cold than uh, it's uh, muddy. Okay, well, I don't want it to get wet then. Oh. But yeah, is there any uh, carriages? You would know, know where that would be, well, wouldn't what? you? Gail, why are you offering me a dagger? Well, it's less conspicuous than your sword. <laughs> no, I'm taking my sword. Uh, do you want a javelin? I have four. <laughs> like a no, handsome... walking stick. <laughs> a handsome cab. That's what I was trying to think of. A, a handsome, handsome cab. cab. Yeah. Yeah, there are... carriages. There, and that's completely shielded from the cold uh, like you can open it uh, like in the westerns sweet let's get on one of those yeah so you tell the dry uh, where to take you down to the castle wall or to uh, a theater to the lighting a theater. And it says, sure, uh, it will be two gold pieces per person. Okay. Do you, and uh, if you want, if you want to ride back, uh, the price is another one gold per person. So I just read in Dela's description that she haggles, which Athena is not a fan of that, but I'm gonna um, go up to the carriage and be like, how about we just do two gold for the round trip? You know, that, that seems like a better deal. Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion. Oh crap, I gotta get my sheet up. I haven't needed my sheet for days. Okay. Uh, I, I haven't made you uh, do any rolls for. I know. For a it's long been time. great. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Well, since it's it's so cold, uh, I could use the money to heat up. But since you guys are uh, so, you, since your girls are so lovely and beautiful, oh. I I could. <laughs> I could lower the price to two gold. Thank you, and I'm gonna give him a little wink mm. and blow a kiss, and then get in. He just—he, uh, you can see like his cheeks are turning blood red. He's like super blushing. Yay! <laughs> All right, so I'm in. Is everybody else getting in? What are you guys doing? Yep, I'm getting in. Mm. Yep. Uh, wrong one. Birth. 
while we're in the carriage, I'm gonna, um, uh, what is your character's name, Natalie? Because I keep just calling you Natalie. It, it is Natalie. Oh, it is Natalie. So yeah. who are you? Casey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, cool. Uh... <laughs> Alright, Natalie is a real person. Like, it's not like, like, I don't meet people named Daella, so, like, I know the difference. But, like, I've met people named Casey and Natalie, so, like, I'm not mm. sure which is the, like, okay. So, Natalie, can I braid your hair while we're on this, like, journey and make it all look all fancy and pretty? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Please. Uh, so, uh, when you guys are uh, driving through uh, the high road south, you and uh, Natalie, you tell uh, the party mem- uh, your party members that uh, the theater is about to follow Tiamat. It's an opera sung in uh, Giant describing the evil dragon queen's defeat at the Well of Dragons. It's a very okay. uh, distinguished uh, opera. It's a very famous opera about Tiamat's fall. It's actually it. Uh, this show is actually held each year in Waterdeep, but it's only for uh, those that can afford it. It's a very expensive pricey. opera. Pricey. Yeah, it's a very pricey, expensive opera. So it's not for the common people. Basically, so, low class people can't get it. Yeah. In. So your the tickets you've been uh, given cost like you can estimate between fifteen and twenty gold per ticket. I'm gonna like turn to um, Natalie and be like, "So I, I didn't really ask you, but how did you obtain these tickets?" Oh, you know, uh, well, that's a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. <In> such a. <laughs> Well, it's up to you if you want to tell them. So, I got them for free. (laughs) How did you do that? I thought you just said that only the wealthy people could have these tickets. And, like, Dale is getting more and more upset because, like, she was excited to go to the opera and she's, like, starting to feel like there's an alternate motive. That is very true. <laughs> See if you can uh, persuade her to tell you. Natalie, what's going on? <laughs> so we're going to go to the opera and we're going to enjoy it. And uh, I have to meet somebody there. Uh, <laughs> Who? Why? Um, what for? You know, there's this thing. <laughs> Do I know that they're a contact for the Harpers that they want me to join? Mm, yes, that was you the know. whole reason. Yeah, you got that in so, the notes. So you, you, you uh, even got the contact's name. That's they, why. Uh, that, that, they, that's why I gave you the handout. This person may or may not want me to join the Harpers. What is that? Is it a gang? Shouldn't they know what the Harpers are? <laughs> I don't think that Derlin and I would know at all what that is. Um, roll. Both of you roll insight. Uh, w- wouldn't that but, be like history or? Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, history. It's a roll of history. Okay. Damn it, my insight's way better. Yeah, roll the roll history. Uh, my history's uh, <laughs> <laughs> better than mine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so Wait, no, we're like, stupid. Har- Harpers? <laughs> Where's Harpers? Harpers? Uh, yeah. Is it a this, drug? <laughs> this, Are you this doing people, drugs? Sterling, you people have no idea. The hurt, if right? <laughs> Since uh, <laughs> you're really wide eyed. Harpers. Since your really little wide-eyed. accident, Sterling, uh, you. Uh, have, and I'm referring to your back uh, backstory. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
you have no idea what these Harpers are because you, you and your sister, they you were not born uh, in uh, Waterdeep. You were born in a small forest outside uh, near the borders of uh, on the outskirts of Waterdeep. So I'm gonna borders. get really wide-eyed and be like, oh, and then I'm gonna whisper, "Is that the mob?" And uh, Diella, you <laughs> no, it's you're not you're mob. not entirely sure either what the Harpers are. Uh, you kind of think that uh, is it like a a group uh, uh, for like a mob? <laughs> and yeah, well. It, or a, you think that uh, is it like uh, a group like for AA meetings or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like lean over and touch her. Alcohol and not just for AA. Uh, not just, I. I oh, that, that was just like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, She's uh, gonna think Natalie's an alcoholic. I don't know. <laughs> I just did that for reference, but uh, uh, not like a meet. But you, you, know, you guys where meet, uh, people meet and talk about their uh, stuff, their private, issues, yeah, their issues. Yes. I'm gonna lean over and grab both her hands and just like, do you need help? And I'm gonna look her deep in the eyes. Like, I'm really worried. <laughs> I, just, I'm, I lean really far back, like, as far as possible. I'm probably bumping into somebody. I'm like, no. Me. Okay, the, the Harpers <laughs> are our group of people who help secretly. <laughs> mm. Gail and Persuade. Oh, God. So there's five. Uh, yeah, Gail and Persuade, you just sit there Kinda, and you're, you're you know, just like, what is going spies? on? Uh, wh <laughs> who are these sisters? <laughs> you're just wondering who the hell are these people? But that's all. You're just <laughs> meeting this person, right? And learning yes. information. Uh, you don't have to do well, anything. I. I it's my choice in the end. Essentially, they, they're they contacting me to see if I want to join. So, like, Dayella still thinks that something's shady, so I'm going to reach over and touch her hand again and be like, we'll make the choice with you. It's okay. <laughs> and I'm going to, like, lean back <laughs> and continue to braid my hair. Oh, oh, <laughs> we'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for you. <laughs> uh, well, because yeah, Derlin and Dayella, we do eventually join them, so I just figured now might be that opportunity as well. Um, but I'm trying to think of how Dayella would be going about this, because I feel like I'm just worried. Because, like, I think Natalie is a full elf, so I am, like, fully concerned about her right now. Mm. Derlin doesn't care. Yeah, and then how worried are you actually <laughs> about her? Hmm? How worried are you about her right now? Dale is worried because <laughs> Dale doesn't know she's a half elf. Mm. Um, if she was, if I knew she was a half elf, I probably wouldn't give a shit about her that much. No yeah. offense. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, like I'm really worried. So I'm like, we're gonna, we'll help you make the choice, and we'll be there for you. And oh my god! I'm being like super, like sentimental and touchy. <laughs> uh. Oh Jesus! Derlin's on the other side of her, like, yeah. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking this way too seriously. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, you I'm are. I'm just looking You're at, way, I'm just looking at Gale and Persevane okay. like, my eyes are just screaming, help me, please. Uh. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, Let's just Gale. do the rest of the ride in silence. <laughs> uh. Speaking of guilds, I was asked to join the uh, head of the gauntlet if anyone's interested in joining. I'm gonna be heading over there eventually. Probably tomorrow. Is that oh, a gang? That sounds like that another fun. Gang? Is that another gang? Do you need I help mean... too? What is happening? Oh, so you oh, roll history apart. again, please. Roll history. You know, Gail, maybe you should have waited until they were not <laughs> in. Hey, hey I know this gangs. one. Oh, yeah. no. We know this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have so all the information. You, you actually... <laughs> I, okay, so. I would say that you guys know more about the Order of the Gauntlet than maybe 
Uh, <laughs> then Gale does. You <laughs> know. <laughs> so you... I um hold on. Where's the link for that? The could you post it real the... quick? Yeah, uh, yeah, I can post. I just need to read it again because I can't remember what that's about, <laughs> and I just want to know like oh, if I'm right judging now. him for this or not. Oh. I <laughs> You're always judging you I are, need to know I my information. Like you're already judging him. Oh, I already don't like him, but I need to know if this is like pushing it even further. And all he's done is help you. Uh, Dude, poor Gale. Poor, poor <laughs> Gale. Poor Gale. Poor Gale. I mean, I'm not being rude straight to his. Other than calling him mortal, I feel like I'm not being too rude to his face. Only a little bit. Only a little. Like, just a little shade is being thrown. Oh, Gale. Okay. Oh, just gonna shit. say Dayla is also immortal, because she's gonna die too, eventually. Hey! I think I'm <laughs> higher up than humans, though. We last longer. But you got an expiration date. Order of the gauntlet. Thank oh, okay. You. I can't I have it. a long, long expiration. Like, mine's <laughs> wicked far away. I see Order of the Gauntlet. But yeah, that's no that's tech. very true because you yeah. are a druid. You're gonna have like I think it's. I'm <laughs> gonna outlive Dayla by like double. Yeah. yeah but I can yeah. just ask my god to extend my life. You also have the also link uh, I gave you way before a couple of sessions ago uh, about the factions that you can read. I think the, the Order chat? of the Gauntlet. I think also I gave. Also, I think I found it. Yeah. Is that in yeah. tabletop stuff? Yeah, I yeah. think it is. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see yeah, it. so you it. can actually read about it there. Order of the Gauntlet. Uh, no, evil or... Order of the Gauntlet. Understand that evil may guys no. playing games and tricks on others in order to spread. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, like only... Do we like this one, Athena? <laughs> well, like, oh, they're fighting the evil? Mm. fighting evil? I really hate Gale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't really yeah. hate you for this one, I feel like. Yeah, I, but so I feel like this would be a very human faction, though. Is that incorrect uh, thinking? Well, Gale is not human, so he's half human. <laughs> well, half human, he's still half elf, and the half is high elf, so take that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I'm gonna go. not mind that he's a part of this. Oh my gosh, sorry. Yeah, I don't care about this one either. So you're thinking about joining? Hall of the uh, Hall, uh, Order of the Gauntlet? I don't want to join him, but I'm going to be like, Oh, that's that's very noble of you, and oh, then actually, just sit. Oh, Enclave sounds perfect. What about you, Persevane? Are you interested in joining? I think Persevane died. What about you, Whipperforth? Are you interested in joining? <laughs> <laughs> the Harper. Wait, what's the evil one again? <laughs> Lord's Alliance or something? No. Well, there, there, there's no, there, there's no shit in there. Yeah, you can actually follow him, uh, follow Gale to host, uh, to the Order of the Gauntlet uh, uh, hideout uh, to to their temple and. Uh, listen what they have to say but you can decide there nope not interested mm -hmm. okay the same goes uh, for uh, uh, if you guys want to follow natalie to the harpers enjoy the, nope, enjoy not the interested <gasps> yeah, well see. i mean y'all are joining me tonight you just yeah you don't have to join has the emerald you enclave just, approached you just get to anyone yet enjoy the opera no, Actually, the Emerald Altair well, has not uh, come there yet, and uh, neither has the other factions. Okay, I need to. Uh, but the, they, they will probably they will probably show up in a day or two, maybe. You never know. <laughs> so, I think I'll wait till after we meet Natalie's contact, because like, I think she's full elf, so I kind of want to be with her, and she's the only girl. So like I'm, but like at the same time I'm also gonna do what Darlin does. So I think it's something that Darlin and I would have to discuss in private, and not in front of people. Sorry, bitches, you're not important enough. <laughs> <laughs> so like Darlin, I'm just gonna give you like a look and just feel like everybody's choosing one. 
what are we gonna do? But it's just like, the kind of look. Not really I haven't happen. been approached by the one I want. Wait, who do you but want? Corsivane might I'm go Robux. and, oh. like, wait outside as sort of, like, just support. Um, but he's not interested in going inside. Inside the opera? Oh, no, I meant to, um, the, uh, to, contact. like, the, the other oh, meetings. Oh, okay. That's after the opera, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so the drive takes you to this building where it says the light uh, the light singer theater and there you are met uh, by a, ma a man named Mert he looks like this Mert. Hmm. This is also your contact. Yeah, but I don't know it because he hasn't said his name or anything. And I've never seen this guy. So. Well, you know the name from uh, the... Well, I, I know his name, but he uh, hasn't said his name and I've never yeah, met him. Yeah. So. Yeah, you know his name, but you've never met him before. And you don't recall ever seeing him before either. Yeah. You have no memory of seeing him. So he invites you all to his private box uh, in the theater and uh, wants you all to enjoy the show. Uh, you, uh, your friends can sit in the front while you two sit in the back and uh, talk a little bit. Okay. So you can see it is a majestic stage about uh, uh, about the well of the dragons and five heads of Tiamat and also the brave heroes and the giants that slay uh, brought her back to the nine hells. It's a very nice stage, and the music is mind-blowing. Even though it's in Giant, it's like... Uh, it's one of the most beautiful... Uh, probably most, uh, one of the most beautiful uh, performances you've heard or seen before. Have any, any of you been to the opera? Yes. <laughs> Natalie God. has. Wait, my character or been. me personally? Uh, your character. I you might think? have. I don't know. My character, Darling, no. we wouldn't have gone. No. Unless Natalie has. Yeah, so you, you, Natalie, you are actually stunned by the performance even though you're trying to listen what Mirth has <laughs> to offer you. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> yeah, you're getting very distracted. Uh, but he is uh, offering you a... He describes uh, he describes the Harpers to you and... Uh, and also... And offers you a membership to the... To both you and your friends if they want to. And if you okay. accept, you receive a silver pin of a harp within a crescent moon. And also, you get your first mission. I'm just like, okay, so what are my benefits? Like, what's the 401k like? Do you have Can dental? You hear them? <laughs> yeah, uh, probably you, hear, you have a hard time concentrating because you're so... Uh, enchanted by the music and the stage. Carter. Mm -hmm. Read the chat. One second. So, Mirth is telling you that uh, 
One of the drays working in the city is pulled by a talking mare named Maxine. He wants you to locate her and find out if she's learned the identity of any synth operatives, and if so, determine their whereabouts. He tells you that if you could succeed in missions uh, he gives you, uh, you will get uh, you will get uh, uh, some kind of reward for each quest. Okay. You get you get uh, uh, something called a renown for a success, successful mission, and if you find all everything that you find. Uh, uh, when you succeed in a mission, it's yours to keep. Okay. But and you also have, you may also take with you your uh, any of your friends, but they don't care if they're not with the harpers. They don't get uh, uh, the despair. reward. Yeah, the harper okay. rewards. So no dental, right? Yeah. Mm. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No retirement get plan. <laughs> you get dental. <laughs> Order of the Gauntlet gets dental, but we don't. <laughs> mm. And also, I forgot to show you this. Um, this is what uh, was in your. Uh, it's a paper bird. Yeah. This is yours. This was this contained the message I told you in the private chat before. Oh, nice! So I get to keep this. Yes, you get to keep this. Oh, that's actually really cool because I can just write on this and it'll go anywhere. Yeah. As long as they're on the same plane of existence. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. So that is yours to keep. That is very handy. Okay. You like to you you first want to give this note back, but when you look closely uh, and uh, at it, uh, and he says, "No, this is yours to keep. You keep this." So. And that. This is yours. Long... This is yours to do with whatever you want. As long as I know their name. Okay. Yeah. So, if I know the name of a bad guy, <laughs> I can just write a message on there and send it off, and then we follow the bird. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Uh, Depends you could. on how fast we can move. Yeah, and if it flies uh, over all the buildings. I, I'm pretty sure I took a spell for that. <laughs> Yeah, I took Expeditious Retreat, so... Yeah, but you still have to... If the bird flies all over uh, all the neighborhoods, uh, and you have to, like, walk around the neighborhood... Somebody multi-class in the monk. <laughs> yeah, for next level. <laughs> I have a negative one dex. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so definitely not Gale. <laughs> Anyone that has a plus one to <laughs> text? Uh, Actually, 13. I I do. I think I could technically multi class <laughs> into monk. Is Warlock, uh, is, uh, is a Warlock monk a good fit? I, I Actually, never... Warlock monk is pretty good. I, I have never played one. In, any of those classes, so I'm not sure. Oh, wow, monks are awesome. Mm. Just get the mobile feet, and you're going like 50 feet around. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. For regular movement. So he asked you, are you willing to uh, do this mission for me? Yes. I will. Mm. So, uh, side note, how do I get involved in this? Because I do want to join the Harpers, so can, like, I just... Can Dela just, like, jump in and be like, hey, can I join? Or, like, am I still not hearing what they're saying? Yeah, you can, you can, uh... 
you can focus one ear on the opera and one ear on the conversation and you just hear this about this mission and reward stuff you kind of like your ears just bang uh, both ears just focuses on the talk and you just turn around and ask Mert if you can join and he uh, offers you the same uh, deal uh, do this mission for him uh, uh, you will also receive a silver pin. So Dayella is really torn right now because she knows Durlin isn't going to choose this faction. But due to our backstories, um, Dayella is not a fan of like... Um... Oh, let me pull this up real quick. Oh, Emerald Enclave? Because the... they're the ones who do the... Uh... They do... They like worship nature and yeah, due to like nature. our backstory... So like I, you guys probably would have heard a bits about our backstory, but like Durlin and I were like caught in a tree for like centuries. Um, and I hate the tree now, and I think it was an evil nature. And But Durlin was obsessed with the tree, and now he's going into nature. And so I feel like he's joining them for like the whole nature purposes, but I am not a fan of like that. And I feel like due to the fact that um, this is like, it's four spellcasters, and I am a spellcaster, and it's like we get rid of forces with evil intent. And that I feel like I would definitely join them, but I know for a fact that Durlin wouldn't. So this is like hard for Dayla and Durlin, I think, because we're about to split, and I don't really want us to because we're twins. Well, but it doesn't. Uh, when when it comes to faction, it it doesn't uh, do any difference. You can still do uh, faction missions. Yeah, the together. entire the entire group can go. Like the entire party can go do the different faction missions. It's just the ones who are in that faction that gets the reward. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hold Durlin's hand and I'm going to like squeeze it and then turn to the guy and say, I'd, I'd like to join you guys. I'd like to join the Harpers with Natalie. Yeah. Hey, he, he pulls out a silver pin with a sharp, uh, uh, silver pin of a harp with a crescent, within a crescent moon and gives you to you. And he tells you that you always must wear it on your car uh, so it shows that you're belonging to a harper. So you have to, it has to be visible. Okay, so yeah. it's a pin, you said? Yeah, yeah it's a pin. That, that way other Harpers can identify you. Yeah. So I just put it above my left breast, and my hair might hide it sometimes because I have extremely thick long hair, but yeah. I put it right yeah. there. And... That is totally fine. I feel like that's open enough, but like if I also wanted to hide it, I could just like flip my hair in front of my outfit and <laughs> hide it from somebody. <laughs> So you definitely you, and it's okay not to accept the mission uh, if if well, one of you is not within the Harpers. You can, if you feel like you can do this alone, you can. I'll I'll let Natalie lead that. Like Natalie, I'll go where you go. And let her decide. Uh, you can ask uh, your friends if you uh, if the, and the other party members if they want to f follow you with this. Uh, Join quest. us on yeah. a mission to look in the city for a talking horse. <laughs> Come on, guys, we're gonna go find a talking horse. It'll be great. Mm. A whisper to Derlin, like, "Do you want to come? You don't have to join the Harpers, but you can join me." Mm. I guess I'll follow. I'll help out. We're gonna go find Mr. Ed. Mm. <laughs> talking so, horse can be any horse in reality. I, did, I missed the part about this paper bird that's on my screen. What is that again? That was uh, <laughs> the message uh, Natalie received. That I got. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And cool. I got to keep the, the piece of paper. Sweet. It's a, it's a magical item. Awesome. It's a very cool medical item, actually. Yes. You... And it's also a wondrous item. It's also cool. Like I said, we can use that if we <laughs> know a bad guy's name. <laughs> well, weren't there were some restrictions to it? Um... Of course, that would suck if like we can't follow it fast enough and the bad guy gets it. And um, I, I just like wrote down "fuck you," and he gets this pe piece of paper, I and he's like, "What?" <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> that he has my my poor piece of paper. <laughs> Oh, yeah. By the most direct route, okay. But whereupon it turns into a non magical and in the made in animated sheet of parchment that can be unfolded only by the intended recipient. If the bird's speed, uh, bird's hit point or speed is reduced to zero, or it if it's otherwise immobilized, it turns into ash. Okay, so yeah. there are some risks used in using this yeah. uh, paper bird. Yeah. So, like essentially, I don't want to send it off like during battle. That would be a bad idea. Probably yes, it would. <laughs> That would definitely be bad. Uh, All right. Will we finish watching the opera? Uh, uh, he yes. tells you that uh, Mr. said, <laughs> "Please enjoy the opera. It's gonna uh, continue for another two hours." Uh, but Mr. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks you for joining and. Uh, if you want to contact him, he is he lives in the Sea Ward. If you want to contact him for mission uh, success stuff like that. Yeah. And he wants you to uh, early in the next day he wants you to start this mission. The next day. Okay. Yeah. So we can he wants you to uh, do this as soon as possible. Okay. But he stands up and um, bows and says goodbye and hope we meet again. And he says enjoy. So you can you guys can decide if you want to stay or go back home. Um, I am staying and watching the rest of this opera. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what you guys do. <laughs> yep, I'm staying and watching the rest of the opera. I guess I'll stay. Gail and uh, Persuane? Do you guys want to continue listening to the opera? I mean, I'll keep Whipperforth with me if you wanted to leave Persuane, but... If you want to hang out together. Okay. <laughs> Or a group. One like, day Whipper I will. is like explaining the opera to me as it goes. <laughs> Constant Whipper string Force... of commentary, like right in my telepathic ear. Mm. Does Whipper Force speak giant? Uh, I th think he might. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, actually. No, never mind. <laughs> you thought you were. Uh, speaking no, giant? No, I don't no, speak giant. but he giant. does speak telepathy. Um, and it's entirely possible that he's seen this opera before and knows the story. Maybe, uh, but... Mm, chances are small that he... He has heard of it. Anyway, you sit down and you get offered drinks too. A uh, bartender comes up and uh, offers you some uh, refreshments <laughs> as well. Does Gail take I all picture of it being too? very like Wagner. Yes, Gail drinks way more than he probably should. <laughs> <laughs> like we're gonna have to drag him out after. The drinks yep. are you. You get offered uh, one drink and uh, one snack. Uh, of your choice uh, from a very short menu. Uh, it, it's uh, included in the ticket. I will take a drink and then give it to Gail after the person has left. <laughs> okay. I'll take one as well and give it to Gail. <laughs> Are we enabling Gail? Mm. Yes. Gail, do you have a problem? Do you need support? 
Because <laughs> I was in a, it's like, oh, if I only get one drink, then I won't even start. But since everyone's giving me their drink. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Well, the, uh, you enjoyed the drink and enjoyed the snacks. And yeah, Gail, you drink more than the others since you've been offering <laughs> drinks. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want to feel like uh, tipsy or like mm, your head is spinning a little bit, uh, those were very strong drinks. Will he be a little more than just tipsy? If you want, uh, you can roll an insight, see if he looks more drunk than he is. Did he get crunk? <laughs> 21. Um, yeah, he might look uh, more drunk than he uh, literally tells you he is. So you might want to give him a hand. Uh, to, uh, when the opera is ended. So the next day we need to do Gale's thing unless he is hungover. <laughs> well, no, Gale can... He has uh, a couple of days to... Think about it. Okay. Your, it's your thing that needs to be done. Yours. Well, I, didn't and... know if, I didn't know if he wanted to go just like meet the guy like early in the morning. Well, he can do that on his own if you want. You, you have your, you and Diala, you, uh, you and Derlin, you have your. Oh no, wait, Dyla. no, Diala, you guys have yeah. your missions. Have you guys wrote it down by the way? Your mission. What? Have you wrote down your the mission? Oh, what? Uh, no. We got we got to go find a talking horse. Yeah, the mission right. bridge. Uh, Considering it's a talking horse. Yes. My son steals I, my pens. I don't so, think that there's going was to be. Was the area in the in your character sheet? Too many talking horses in town, so. There's an area in my character sheet for missions, Carter? What? Well, yeah. it's, you know, it is what it is. Cool. Just give it a bio and put it in allies and organizations, I guess. Shh, no, I'm using paper. We have a then. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna make sh and have the same map open. Uh, so you guys, you wake up and eat breakfast, and... Uh, you guys are asking if um, actually you can do this. Uh, we can actually do this. You guys like meet up downstairs, need breakfast. Yeah, you can actually you can you guys can sit uh, here. Oh. Round the bar, socializing about yesterday's opera and talk about stuff. You gotta bring in Whipperforth. <laughs> Poor Whipper okay, I'm back. is still outside. Like an animal. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> he needs one of those tiny sherry glasses. Aww. Okay. So. So you guys said. Uh, so. Diala and. Uh, Nelly. You guys want to discuss what you have to do? Today, what's on your agenda? I, right now, I'm too busy stuffing my face. So the objective is to find a talking horse for what? I'm writing it down now. Uh, we were supposed to find a talking horse, and there was something about a Harper agent that may have had their cover blown or something. 
Uh, you, uh, Merc wants you to locate uh, the talking horse, uh, the talking mare named Maxine. You will locate her, find out if she learned the identi identity of any sent operatives, and if so, determine their whereabouts. That was what it was. Yes. Learn if she found the identity of any Zentarum operatives. We going after some Zentarum. Man, it'd be so cool if I could combine missions, because in my other D&D, I'm a Zentarum. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys want to? Uh, so the rest of you, you guys want to join them, or uh, yeah, do you think, uh, or do you have uh, better stuff to do? What was the question? Sorry, my son's losing his mind. It's hard to hear. Uh, so you want? Do you guys want to ask uh, the, your the rest of the party to join them, or? Yep. Anybody? I definitely who wants to ask Darlin. Oh, I'm coming. Okay. And... Gail and Persuade. Gail, Persevane, Whipperforth. Um, and I ask Whipperforth. Just to, just to provide some backup. I don't ask Persevane, I ask Whipperforth. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a package I, deal. You get one, I, you get the other. Yeah, I ask Persevane, because I know they come together. <laughs> oh, there's Whipperforth, I didn't see so you want to join or do you want to do your own stuff? I'm going with them to provide backup. Okay. So you guys... Deal? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll go. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> guess so. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the moody dog, like <laughs> I'd rather sit in my room and write poetry, but I guess. <laughs> Stop doing that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys eat up and um, prepare to so uh, dress for a cold day, snowy day, and you head out to into the city once again, leaving Trollskull Alley. And uh, you search the city. You can put your token anywhere in the city if, uh, if, if you want. If I was a talking horse, where would I be? I would say first, let's go to the Yawning Portal. I would say so too. Okay, so Durnan has been here for years and years and years, and if anyone's going to know where a talking horse might be, it, 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 let's ask Durnan. Can you okay. just imagine like being standing there and like, so, a horse comes over and is like, "Hey, you." So when you get there, <laughs> so when you go there, I'll, uh, f uh, uh, so when you get by here, around here or. Somewhere around here. And uh, roll me an intelligence check. Oh god. Wait, can I do this? Uh, Any I, uh wait, no, it's a. Uh, uh, I'm good at intelligence. They, no, uh, Diola and uh, Natalie, intelligence investigation check. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay, yeah. Actually, hey, that's, actually, that's a save. You, that... you rolled a save. Oh, yeah, you rolled a save. I think it's the same, though. No. Oh, crap, I'm no, sorry. No, it's not. They're not. Where, do, where, is, where am I supposed to go? Investigation. Investigation. It's... Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, so... 
Uh, you investigate and you find a uh, draft tour in the um, bottom. Uh, there's not an actual. Uh, she's just a normal draft horse. Damn. And uh, but she speaks common. Uh, but uh, when you find her, uh, you. She doesn't really. She doesn't uh, trust you enough to give you any information. You kind of speak. To, you kind of go uh, to go to her and ask if uh, she heard of any sent operatives. But she doesn't trust you to give you an answer. Wait. So we just we came across this horse. Yeah. You could, you when you were walking. Who was talking? Yeah. You like walking and uh, or on your way down to the airport and you. Just heard a horse, a horse talking. A horse talking. You just get went there and uh, <laughs> you were talking. I heard her talking. You know, I'm gonna you know. whip out some paper and a pen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be like, so when's the first time that you realized you could talk? <laughs> I've been talking since I was a little. A little, uh, uh, what's the name in English? Pony. Pony. A pony. Yeah, a little pony. Full. Full, thank you. Full. Yeah, we, 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 found yeah, we, yeah. yeah, we found the horse. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know another talking horse named Maxine? Are you the talking horse named Maxine? Are, are there multiple <laughs> talking horses named Maxine? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm a magical horse, but I'm just a normal horse. How are you talking then? <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're a normal horse, I'm how did you? I'm just a normal magical horse. I'm, I'm <laughs> Wait, I'm no, scared, no, 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 time, no, no, time, time out, time out. You can't be normal and magical. Those, well, no, I, I, that's, I, a, I, that's a contradiction. But, well, the only magical thing I'm about me is that I can everyday talk. Magical horse. And, and it's, I can talk. What's your name? Do. My name is Maxine. She said it was Maxine. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Do you know what the Zentarum is, Maxine? No, should I? Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, they've been tearing the city apart. Uh, I'm done. Maybe I'm. I'm not sure. Have you heard anybody call themselves a Zentara, Maxine? Maybe I draw. I, I drag a lot of people. I'm going to flash my Harper pen. Uh, draw a charisma persuasion check. A, a what? Charisma persuasion check. Persuasion. Okay. Yes. Both. I just like to, just, to, <laughs> just the two of you. That's a three. Okay. Can I do it too? Yeah. Only you two. Oh my god. Persuasion. Are you kidding me? I have good persuasion. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Yeah, I know. I have a good persuasion, we, too. We both got threes. Uh, Sally? No, she doesn't want to tell you. Can I cast Trump Person on the horse? Uh, what, you want to do what? Nope. I want to cast Charm Person <laughs> on the horse. She's not a person. She's a Damn it. horse. Uh, hang on. Let me, check, let, let me check Charm Person. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, it's humanoid. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna... Can, hang on. Can my, can my warlock thing work on her? <laughs> hang on. It was Fee Presence. Um... Mm. Well, it's it's sorry, but I have to, sorry, but it I says have to creature. Get, I have to get Does going the horse now. count as a creature? <laughs> it's a beast. There isn't a beast a creature. Yeah, a beast is a creature, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, large is a, oh yeah, large beast. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the DM is just like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are telling us the information. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh god. How about now? <laughs> uh, do I want to do this? This might get me thrown in jail. <laughs> it's either that or I'm gonna go the intimidation route and start getting a fireball ready. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to attempt to intimidate, go Yeah, right so ahead. I'm gonna get my fireball ready. And I'm gonna say, are you sure you don't want to reconsider? And I'm gonna like shove my harper pin like in this horse's face with uh, my fireball. Okay, like, so you face. want to try and intimidate her? Yep. I pull out some goblin hair and I'm like, <laughs> what? like to intimidate the horse. I pull out some goblin hair and I'm like this is what happened to the last person that uh, went against her. <laughs> so you have a fireball in her face, Harper pins being shoved in her face, and now hair being held up. <laughs> Do I need to roll for this or is she just yeah, you have to roll. You have to roll an intimidation to threat the horse's life. <laughs> uh. That's so much better. How? I don't know. My intimidation is so much worse than my persuasion. This is bullshit. Oh god, it must have been the goblin hair. <laughs> yeah, gave me the extra edge. Well, um, are you gonna talk to me? No, I don't want to. All right, Natalie, you try. <laughs> Why don't you try and persuade her again? Just try to persuade her again. Uh, but uh, just so you know, she has to get going because, like, uh, the owner. Uh, oh, yeah. Persuasion, oh, yeah. And yeah. uh, she tells you on the persuasion check uh, that she recalls giving a ride to a son of and his half orc bodyguard two days ago. Uh, she picked them up, and uh, she said, uh, tells you that she picked them up at an intersection, uh, she doesn't recall which one, and dropped them off at the Yomi portal. Uh, they talked about hiring spies to root out, out Centaur's guild hideouts in the city. Maxine's descriptions of the passengers match the appearance of... Uh, Yagra, Stonefist, and Double Star Song. Okay, do you guys see the handle? Yep. 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 Uh, that is all the information she has and uh, she can give you. And then she rides off. She has to go to. Okay, so we've seen uh, the hap work in the Yawning Portal before. Yes, you yeah. have. So you want to go shake her down <laughs> at the the half work and the elf at the Yawning Portal, right? <laughs> yeah. Let me write it down. Okay, yeah, so let's head to the yawning portal then. Okay. And both of you get uh, one renown as a reward. Nice. Where do I write that down at? 
yeah, you can just write it down anywhere on a sheet. And like, okay. yeah, under if you have wrote down that you belong to the Harpers, you can just uh, get mission, uh, uh, mission accomplished, one renown stuff. Okay, so one. What is what is renown? Sorry, I'm so uh, It's uh, a reward you get from uh, your factions when you succeed a mission. Okay. And to be honest, um, even I are a little blurry about what you get them. Uh, but you will get more if you do more quests at higher level. You yeah. I uh, can uh, receive a better and more rewards. So you guys want to follow them to uh, the Yomen portal, or...? Yeah, I think that's what we were going to do. Uh, okay. Gay press main. You guys want to hold on? Yeah, I know it's a little dangerous at the Yawning Portal at random times. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'll put you at the Yawning Portal. Oh, yeah. The first event, I have javelins. Do you want some? He is not here. So, I see the orc. I don't see the half elf, though. Now this, uh, remember, this was two days ago. Uh, Yagra, she's like, uh, she's someone that get, uh, goes here all the time. She's a very good customer. So when you get inside, uh, what do you guys do? I'm just following along at this stage. So, I mean, we can visibly see her at this table. So I'm going to turn to Natalie and be like, do you want to approach her? How are we going to handle this? So the only one we can see is... Yagra, right? Yes, yes. yes. You can see Yagra. You don't okay. see the Alright, well, let's approach her. Which, Which one of you were friends with Yagra again? Not me. I'm sorry, I had to walk away for a second. Not I mean, we're friends with Yagra, right? What? You weren't friends with Yaga, right? Remember in the beginning we picked people who we were friends with? Yes. I don't think you were. I think we were both friends with the same person and it was... Yeah, we were friends with that same person. Hmm. I think it was some chick. I can't remember her name though. Yeah. Okay. I think we got a sheet of her. Hold on. Um... It was Obeya Uday. Obeya Uday, okay. And he is also not here. Yeah, so, so is anybody really good with intimidation? Um. Wait, you, you want to intimidate uh, Yaro? Yeah. Well, she's suspected Zentarum, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Sure. Well, so I'm gonna put my hair over my pin and go up and try to just have a normal conversation with her first. I cast guidance on you. Oh, thanks. Uh, there we are. Um, so I'm just gonna, like, pop a seat down over here. Hi, my name's Dayella. How are you today? Well, I'm writing an article. I work for the newspaper near town. And we're just like going around asking everybody about, you know, just 
what the town's like and the atmosphere for everything that's been happening here. Um, for example, I heard that there's different factions and we're just trying to get a good, you know, feel about like what the town is as a whole and maybe who represents the town or the faction that is most popular here. Why are you asking me? I'm just well, because I've already asked most people in the tavern and I haven't spoken to you yet, so I thought I'd just come over here and get to know my fellow drinking buddies. <laughs> well, if you want to know something, you have to drink with me. I have to what? You have to drink with me if you want to know. Sure! That. I have somebody that can join us, Gail! I know! It's just you and me. Oh, just you and I. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Sure. So, I... Uh... She goes, Jordan, bring us ten ales each. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. If you could Darling, drink I'm gonna give you these like, ten ales... Look. And also, Wait, these, the, the, these well, elves are, like, big, like, really, really big, uh, <laughs> like, just, I'm just looking big, over, like, they're, they're, just, like, they're, like, big, before, big pints. Before the elves get to the table, I'm gonna be like, okay, well, if I'm gonna drink this much, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, so I'll be right back, and then we can, you know, start this little fun journey no, of ours. you shit right here. You don't go I anywhere. have to pee. <laughs> Want to know something? You drink. Are the ales at the table yet? Uh, they're on their way. By oh Bonnie. God. Bonnie is coming uh, with, and uh, like, oh. and you, can, you guys see that she's having trouble balance because it's very heavy. Um, these pines are like enorm uh, enormous. Okay! <laughs> yeah, so it sure. looks like... Uh, I'm an elf. I feel like I can hold my liquor. Uh, no, elves are not known for that. Okay, never no. mind. No. <laughs> In Lord of the Rings they are! And uh, Yagra <laughs> just uh, throws Bonnie like... Pium, 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 pium. Uh, some gold coins. And... Can my oh. unseen servant drink? <laughs> <gasps> can they? Uh... Damn. Um, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she goes, yeah, right. goes to you guys. Yeah, can I offer you something, people? Oh, hi, it's you. Oh, I remember you. From the troll incident. I'm just gonna watch the show. <laughs> can I have um, a water, please? I feel like I'm gonna be dizzy in a couple of minutes. Um, no, <laughs> sure. Water, please. We can come right up. Cause all I work. have is all I have is minor illusion, and that's not going to change Gale into Taylor. <laughs> nope. uh, I have healing word. <laughs> okay, that's a restoration. That might uh, help. No. Okay, I'm gonna so the drinking contest begins. So with a contest? Mm. If, if you can hold your, if you can hold, Jaga uh, tells you if you can hold your liquor, uh, hold the L. She will tell you everything you need to know. Okay, yeah, sure. So uh, you have to roll um, uh, for the first one. Uh, roll me uh, a DC twelve survival check. What? DC twelve survival check. Survival check. Okay. And okay. You are not drunk. You, you drink up and uh, both your smashed uh, pints on the table. Okay. Good at drinking. So, I've had one. So, what type of um, uh, uh, thing are you in? Um, uh, God damn it, I can't remember the name. That was, that was just one pint. I, I'm still going to try to ask. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what type of faction are you in? Mm, no, no. Let's start the next one. You know what? I think if I'm gonna do your game, you have to give me one question after every drink. That's only fair. Mm, if you manage to hold your liquor after 
Three. You're just a bundle of joy, aren't you? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're a large shmoo. Oh, I drink okay. another one. So, yeah, yeah now you want to, to, I need to draw DC 14. Uh, what? 14? Yes. Ugh. I cast Can Guidance. I guidance, yeah. Guidance, we both are. I'm, I'm not cast Guidance, he cast Guidance. Yagra says, look at you. Uh, uh, she just smells at you. And you, she sees that you guys are gonna uh, try to do some hand moves. And, are you guys gonna cast spells here? Well, is is her back to them? Because like it looks like she's kind of facing me. So would she be able to see them doing that? She's like uh, looking. She's she's not entirely looking at you. She just uh, looks at all the pines too, and she kind of glares towards the bar because she she. Uh, this is her favorite spot. She has like a good lookout of the on the entire bar. She knows how to look and be also be discreet about it. Does she see it meow? Slight <laughs> <laughs> of fad. Oh. Uh, she has to roll uh perception. Mm, higher yeah. than 18. Yeah. Perception is always I have a feeling her perception's not that high. Uh perception is always Three. Yep, she fails. So she doesn't see it. So um, am I feeling sick yet? No. Okay. You do not. What's this I feel like as soon again? as she does, I'll start feeling it. <laughs> What's this orc's name again? Do I know that in Yeah, yeah her name is Yagra Stonefist. Yagra? Stonefist. Yagra. Okay. So, roll uh, DC 14. Survival. Oh, oh a survival? Yes, another survival. And okay, you are still not uh, drunk. And Yagra just more. I feel we have a competition here. Well, I mean, I don't know why a competition is necessary. I'm just trying to write my article for the newspaper. What article do you say you belong to? Oh, it's a new oh, one. What, My what, brother what, what and I are writing it. What, what newspaper do you say? It's more of like a newsletter. <laughs> What's the name of it? Daily Prophet. It's called the Daily <laughs> Prophet. <laughs> It's, uh, this is my first article. It's This is going to be the first one. She, it's probably uh, not something you've heard of. She kind of like glances you for, for fine. Let's drink. Let's continue drinking. Okay, let's, yeah, sure. This is 16. So, I don't know what that means. Uh, same survive check, but they have to uh, roll a DC 16. Oh, so, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna increase it for every time. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Oh. You show so, off my shelf. Ha 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 ha! I've had this much drink in front of in a long time. Oh. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You're my new best friend. He just slaps you on the shoulder, taps on the shoulder, but that tap is like a smack, and you're like, boom! You fell like forward on the table, like you were to like prepared a oh. uh, that. <laughs> Her little stab would be so powerful. She kind of <laughs> stumbles over the table and uh, spills one of you, spills one of your ale out on the entire table on the floor. And Yara <laughs> says, "Oh, you, you ruined the ale." I, I, I'm sorry. I, uh, we'll get another one over here. Oh, don't I'm gonna bother. Um, Dirt. I'm Dirt him. One more. 
I'm gonna yeah, really so if she hit me. <laughs> one more. Uh, she hits you on your left shoulder, behind your left oh. shoulder, and just, but you just fumble and uh, she, she's very big. She's like really big. I'm gonna get behind Yagra, so that she can't see. Who's our? Who was the name of our Harper's contact? Mert. 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 I'm writing this M- down. M I R T. Okay. Um. So, so I believe that that was three, and you said I could ask you a question after three. So, what? Uh, what faction are you part of? That would be a great thing to put in my newsletter. My faction. Yeah, everybody is a part of a faction these days. It's super trendy. You know what? If you want to know that, <laughs> if you want to know that, we have to go somewhere private, more private to talk about it. Wait, Your what'd you friend, say? We have to go somewhere pr- more private to talk about it. Is she? There are too many people close by. We have to go to a more personal booth. Talk about. Oh, it. I don't want sure. anyone to listen in. Sounds fine by me. Mm. Where do you suggest we go? She, she looks, looks around, around and uh, she kind of says, um, "Let's go in there." And there's a uh, like a private door. There's a door here as well. Okay, I'm gonna look at Durham. And uh, Yaga tells Durham, we want uh, the key to this door over here. Just for a minute or two. And Durham just goes goes over here and opens the door. For okay. I guess as Durham is doing that, I'm gonna tell uh, Diella. Like, you should take your pet, uh, your little pet dragon with you, just in. He looks out of a, out of place. Oh yeah, she doesn't know that he can like mind read. So then, also, Persevane would be getting that information. Whipper Forth, would you like to join me, my sweet love? I think Persevane was drinking tea. I'll yeah, taking taking a tea break. Shit. I can I can control Whipper Forth. So I'm just he's gonna come with me. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be controlling my dragon. No. Stop, oh, sorry. stop molesting my sorry. dragon. <laughs> can I take him with me so that he can hear the conversation and you can also hear it? Yes. Okay, great. They're coming with me. Reluctantly. Right. So we're going. I to... I am also going to like hunch over and cast unseen servants. And damn, so much for a private meeting with this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God. So yeah, yeah, goes in and he and have it to a cat. I have it follow it. I have it follow. <laughs> have have it follow her in there, because it can go up to sixty feet away from me. I want it to go just like right inside. Well, you want you want to do what? what? Unseen her servant. Unseen servant is joining us. Okay. okay. So you have to I want it. My 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 command to it is to just follow Dale. Like, have it have it be like right right next to her. Okay. And okay. since and since it can get up to sixty feet away from me, it'll be like just on the edge of the range. All right. Can I turn into a cat and also follow in? <laughs> uh, the door shuts. Uh, shuts. Damn uh, it. <laughs> So, what, what do you what did you want? Uh, what, what is it that you want to know? Yeah, well, we just want one, yeah, one question, only one. Okay, okay. Well, now that we're in private, I feel like I can talk to you a little bit more personally. You see, so I got I got in with a bad crowd. I I joined the Harpers, and it was a mistake. And I heard you that you're part you are of a Harper. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to be. I want to be a Zentarium. And I heard that you were one, and I just want to know if I can join you guys and maybe work undercover for the Harpers. And I don't want to be a part of them. They're awful. I hate them, and I love what you guys do. 
Okay. okay, so, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, okay. sorry, okay. sorry guys, guys, but uh, yeah, we, we are going through the private chat, chat you and I. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there. So, but um, keep in mind that Natalie can hear this, and so can Persuade, oh. so should they come down here? Well, that's uh, true. Persuade and... Uh, Casey. You guys can hear this, so you can yeah. come down here. So. You can uh, you can hear this, but you cannot talk. Mm -hmm. So Darlin and Gail stay here. Everybody else down in private chat, because you can hear what's happening in the. I'm in. Hello. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I had restrictions. I had it restricted to two. Sorry, I had to change the restrictions. All right. Restriction. So we were at. I, I I honor you guys and I respect you and I just I really was wondering if you can help me. I could be a secret spy for them. I'll prove my worth. I'm like uh, just blubbering. You have your information wrong. I am not with the sense. Listen, talk. Fuck. <laughs> I am. I belong to someone else. Who do you belong to? And then we get like really flustered. You have your one question if you want to know more. You oh, have okay. To so, some more. who? I guess I had my information wrong. I'm so sorry. Who do you? What faction do you belong to? I said one question. We have to continue drinking. Wait, what? We have to go continue drinking up to the last two if you want to ask me more questions. Wait, what was the question I asked? About... You asked her... Uh, you asked Yagra about what faction she belonged to. You, you actually thought she belonged to Sense. But so she didn't answer a question? She uh, she, uh, she, tells, she told you that she didn't belong to Sense Arm. You, okay, you, had, okay. Your you, had, you had your information wrong. Do you just want to have the booze ordered in here? It might go faster just staying in this room. Mm. I tell you what, I will give you one bonus question because I like you very much. You can really okay, hold okay. your liquor, but only one I question. I like you too. Mm. <laughs> so, um, what what faction do you belong to? Mm. She kind of puts uh, her mouth near your ear and whispers uh, to you uh, black network mercenary wait what she whispers to your ear just in a she whispers in your ear black network mercenary black network mercenary yes we get and paid. have I heard of that? Probably not. Okay. Uh, so you I'm can sorry. roll a history check with disadvantage. All right. Um, Dela three. No, you do not. Okay. Um. So let me get rid of her name. I put her name next to Zentara. I put her name back down here now. Yagra. And also, since she whispered this. Uh, guys, uh, Pers uh, Wayne and Casey, roll me persuasion or or insight with disadvantage. You can choose which one. Ro roll what? Insight or, or what? Or persuasion, if you kind of if you per persuasion. No, per uh, perception or insight. Pers you can choose which or one. insight, whichever you have better. With disadvantage, both of you. Choose one of them. Person main, are you there? Yes, I'm. I'm there, but I can't speak. Okay, so you have to roll perception or insight. With 
with disadvantage. With just, yeah. Sorry, I keep closing my character sheet. I think the first I thought same. you were going to have oh, her whisper that she's... Oh, nice. Well, with this, it was with disadvantage, nice. so... So six. Yeah. So, disadvantage. Well, so uh... you guys doesn't know... You, you can't read her lips, uh, You and you don't... You're... Unseen servant and uh, Persuade doesn't hear what she says. Well, to... no, Ripperforth is like sitting on um, on Dale's shoulder. Yeah, but uh, Yagra is telep whisper telep telepathing it back to me. Yeah, but that, she, that's she's, how I'm hearing she, stuff, she's so. whispering in her right directly in her ear. Ah, uh. that's why I wanted you to roll either insight or perception to either see if you're uh, unseen servant and. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, so Whipper Ford could is... read or, uh, or could either read or hear the faint whisper. Well, so to negate all this, I'm going to just be taken aback and say, the Black Network Mercenary, what is that? I've never heard of it. Therefore, they would have both heard that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Woman. She does. Okay, so this is a strength. She puts her fist Hello. around your neck and oh, holds it, pushes you. Uh, uh, towards this wall and lifts you up okay. with one hand. Alright, I see I'm that, sorry. do I? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm All sorry. Right. Um, I'm coming over, my hand's on my sword. Don't like this. Doing violence to my friends now. Derlin would feel this, so hold on. So where am I? Okay, I just said he could feel something tighten around his neck. So I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm like losing breath. Please stop. And I'm like trying to get All her right. hand off. I'm over there. Throat. All right. Is she, is she looking like she's going to let my friend down? Or am I going to have to pull out my sword? Mm, she just tells right. Who are you? Why? What? Who the hell are you? Thou dost wish to release my friend now. I'm not asking you, little man. I'm asking this elf. Why are you yelling? Uh, why am I what? Sorry, it's hard. Why to did you yell you can out? Ask with uh, no, not with I, didn't, thine I hands. didn't yell. I didn't I'm yell. Slap I didn't... Hands. You don't say that. Uh, I'm just sorry. Loud out like that. I meant right, to whisper. So it's coming out. She just. Is she? Does she still have my throat? Uh, yeah, but she's lifting you down. Uh, she's dropping you down a little bit. She's holding your neck uh, still. Just, but instead she grabs. Uh, he dro uh, she lets go of your neck, but okay. grab, uh, grab your shirt and just pulls you uh, towards her. If you should tell anyone. I won't. I this. promise. I'm. All right. I'm gonna step in. I know who on. you are, and I will find you. My face is gonna go white when she says that. Yeah, and she's like big and scary, and her eyes are like turning blood red, like with she's like oh, feels like she's raging, like she's blood angry. I'm gonna oh. try and step in and separate them, physic like you know, arms in the middle, push them apart. Mm. Well, she lets go, and, uh, well, then, well, now that's over, oh, why don't we continue drinking? I'm going to mum um, uh, Dayla out, you know. I'm out to the side, just, like, pushing her out the door behind me as I sort of back away from this person. Oh. All right, I'm going to come out. Uh, I can't get out of the store. You can't. Oh, you can't. Ha ha. Dynamic lightning. <laughs> <laughs> You're just stuck in that room forever. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Dynamic lightning. I love how Wiberforth can get out, and I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna also stay between Diella and Yagra. Wait, am I still in the room, or am I out of the room? Ah, uh, wait. You are, you are still in the room. You're wait, trapped. I'm just gonna do this. Like, oh, thank much. you. 
watch. I'm gonna that. get away from her and just like start breathing super heavily over here, trying to catch my breath. Mm. And, and Dorlin and Gail can come down now since we're out of that room. Or we yes, can go back up. And we can go back to all right, so we're out of that room now, and you guys can see us. I'm okay. clearly catching my breath, and Persevane is in between me and mm. that. You, you guys can see Gail and Darlene. You can uh, clearly see that she has a mark on her neck from uh, Yager's fist. But uh, uh, Yager is back to her normal self, and you just go back to the table and want to continue drinking, and uh, if you... Manage to stay on your feet. She will tell you more. But, I guys, guess. we will end it there. All oh, right. Okay. I check on Dale. See if she's all right. Hmm. She yeah, Durlin, you should be doing that. Were you being Brother choked or were you just... I was being choked. Yeah, she was okay. being choked. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of fell on the right. floor. <laughs> you all right, Dale? I've been better. I'm going to rub my neck and yeah. just... So Stop. we're gonna end our session here. We are a little bit over time, but um, I felt like Yay. I was uh, I felt like I was gonna go over time a little bit. I feel like uh, before we end this session, uh, I would like to ask uh, you guys if uh, it's okay if we increase our time, the session time, for up I'm to up, for up to an hour. Mm. Um, like today or just no, in general? No, no, no. Uh, when we continue playing for the continue continuing session, the minimum hour. I mean, man, three hours is a, three hours is already yeah. a pretty substantial chunk of time. I think four hours would be a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. it's a little bit. Yeah. Well, we too could much on me physically. Yeah. Uh, but. If you feel like you want to continue sometimes, uh, just let me know and we can continue on and do a little longer, but no more than four hours. Four hours is the maximum time I want to run. Yeah, like I think if we're in the middle of something, that's one thing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think we should be sort of aiming for four hours. Yeah, if we're like uh, in the middle of a, a lunch. if we're like in the middle yeah. of an encounter or in the middle of a dialogue, a big dialogue. Or, this is some kind of some other thing. This is like a drinking contest you have now, and you're gonna have like more conclusion next session. But uh, about your questioning uh, Yagra and Diala, and so you will get more uh, if you continue drinking, you will get more answers. Okay, but like I said, I'm gonna increase the survival check. Every yeah, time. yeah. You have two more drinks and you are done well. Okay. But you're probably gonna be. Do I want so... to drink with her after you, that? You're gonna... I was gonna say, um, Natalie is staying like literally as Yagra was going around the room. She was like staying in between, like wherever she was stepping. She was staying in between Diala and Yagra. Yeah, I feel like everybody is in between us, so I'm probably not gonna continue <laughs> drinking. But like Natalie could pick it up. Mm. From there, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll you're probably you're probably gonna be super drunk after this. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, I do have sort of a plan. Mm. <laughs> Just in my okay. the, these pines. We'll talk about it next week. These pines, right. they are like maybe two bottles of ale. <laughs> big as a uh, big. 60 centiliter bears, and these are like 7% alcohol or higher. These are, oh, that's it. Are. these are like, <laughs> that's low. I was going to say that's pretty low. 7% uh, alcohol, uh, those are heavy. Yeah, beer. that's yeah. no, that's low. That's heavy for, for beer. Seven. That's heavy for us. Well, I mean, oh, I in America, like that's not. I don't know. Yeah. In America, that's pretty low. Okay, yeah. I don't but, know. I mean, it depends on the alcohol. If like if it's a malt yeah. beer, it's like twelve. Uh, yeah. Uh, twelve percent. That's like wine for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Sweden, yeah. we are weird people. Dude, you play Magic: The Gathering. 
Uh, I did. I used to do it. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, do you do it on the computer or do? You, sorry, new subject. Do you do it on the computer <laughs> or do you do it like in person? Uh, I played it for eight years uh, on table uh, okay. on the, during the nineties, but uh, I tried it uh, on the computer when I heard about Magic the Gathering. Early was it any year. good because like i used to love the card game like in person but i haven't tried the online game because i heard that it was bad did you enjoy it uh i enjoyed it a little bit but then i got bored with it so uh, the, the the physical cards are better uh, i feel it's uh, much more fun to play it uh, with the real cards okay. but uh, it's I so expensive it it's so expensive anyway. for me since i don't have uh, a real job so Mm. And I, 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 I also live in the wrong place to play it on, on table. I yeah. put a link in chat about the Renown thing. Oh yeah, has the Renown gone up at all, or is it just still one? Uh, what is this? What? Dude, I had that whole plan of being a double spy, and then she was all like, I'm not Zentarium. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is it that you post in which we talk about task? Yeah, I don't. Oh see yeah, it, oh which... yeah, oh yeah. The renown. You see yeah. it on uh, Discord. Yeah, in Discord. Oh yes. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. Yeah. Have a good Bye, day, now. everybody. Bye. 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 See you next week. Yep. Later, everybody. Later. Bye. Have a nice day, Ash. You too, man. Catch you later. Catch you later. Bye. So, before I end today's uh, session, um, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's role play as well. Uh, we have done two sessions with just like pure talking and role-playing and stuff like that. No encounters whatsoever. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the sessions. And if you're new to my channel, please please subscribe. Uh, do like, uh, not su subscribe, but uh, please follow. Uh, I do like to have more followers to my channel. Uh, we will be playing every Sunday at the same time. Yeah, unless uh, I'm unavailable. Uh, I will also be posting this uh, uh, my this video, uh, this video, and all the other videos I'm doing on Twitch to my YouTube channel. You can uh, find uh, me uh, on YouTube as uh, Johan uh, Johan Hellgreen. Uh, Hell Grin, uh, H E L L G R E N, and I will post all my uh, Dungeons and Dragons videos and maybe other videos if I stream any of those. And if you like to, please subscribe there. You will not fight when a new video comes on comes up. I will post. I will be posting this video right away on my channel so tell your friends and uh, to press the follow button to come and join uh, my uh, very very small group of followers i do hope we get bigger so see you next week and happy gaming everyone bye